You're on. <laughs> Greetings, people of Earth. My name is Rob Wheeland. I am an author, game designer, and professional nerd. And I am here in Washburn Studios in scenic Milwaukee, Wisconsin, with the rest of the Theater of the Mind players to bring you our first episode of Masks Future Shock. Um, we are very excited uh, to play this game here today, um, and I am very excited to play it with the rest of the Theater of the Mind players. Um, we'd like to uh, say hello to everybody out uh, there who's hello. watching us on Twitch. Um, thank you for tuning in. Um, we're going to get uh, started in just a few moments, but before we get uh, too deep into uh, the rules explanation and uh, introducing characters, uh, I do want to uh, thank our uh, partners at uh, Magpie Games, uh, who have uh, graciously helped us out with uh, promoting this and getting some eyes on it. Um, they also have, uh, well, we have several copies of the Masks books uh, from them, uh, as well as the lovely dice, um, and a bunch of other stuff. So, uh, but if you want to get uh, your own copy of these things, um, there are two ways you can do that. The first uh, is you can go to the Magby Games website and enter in uh, Future Shock Masks as, or is it Masks Future Shock? Future Shock, Future Shock Masks. Masks. It is Future Shock's Masks. Um, and uh, you get 10% off of hardcover, softcover, uh, international shipping. Um, so if you do not have beefy, um, uh, a beefy collection of masks, you can beef out your collection. Beefy um, collection. Beefy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we also have a giveaway. Um, it, uh, as you wandered into the... Um, as you wandered into the... Uh, chat, chat uh, you got a little thing from uh, the Stream Elements uh, uh, robot. That's our robot that's helping uh, give us a, uh, give away some stuff. Tonight, we're giving away a Masks Core book <gasps> to one of you lucky folks out there in Twitch land. Um, all you got to do is type, uh, type in exclamation point enter. Uh, that's exclamation point E-N-T-E-R, and you'll be entered into the raffle. And we're going to make a drawing uh, on our final commercial break, which should be around 9.30 or so. Uh, and then we will be in contact with the winner um, mm -hmm. to uh, hopefully uh, send out a, uh, a sweet new copy of the Core Book. And we're going to be giving away stuff every week uh, that yes. we run uh, this show. So uh, please like be sure shit. to come back. <laughs> there we go. The right place. <laughs> Look. Look at all yeah. of those delicious enter prompts on our chat. Yeah. I've got my, I've got my, my chat phone uh, down here. Uh, hopefully I can see what you guys will be saying. The My reception is a little dodgy uh, here in the studios because of our top secret location, even though I just told them we were all in Milwaukee. Um, but it's, our, it's a ruse. Lovely, <laughs> our lovely and talented Lord of the Board will be uh, also manning the chat. Uh, so if you uh, want to uh, uh, react... Uh, say hi, uh, uh, or whatever. Uh, the lovely and talented Brad Davies will be uh, keeping an eye chat word for that. Um, one question that uh, somebody did already ask in the chat is our, uh, whether or not we're going to be doing uh, the preliminary uh, stuff for masks, or if we're going to be jumping uh, right into the story. And the answer is we're going to be jumping right into the story. We already uh, handled session zero, um, and we did record it for posterity. Um, we're not quite sure what we're going to be doing with that yet. Um, but we have it. But, but we have it. Bonus content. But it will probably be bonus content at some point, either uh, as a, for a week where we're, we're when we're not online, or uh, as a uh, uh, something for our, our Patreon uh, once we get our Patreon going. Um, but either way, uh, we're going to be jumping right into uh, some uh, punching and feelings here. Uh, at the top of the show. But before we do that, I do want to uh, do a quick overview of the game for anybody who's never played Masks before. Since a lot of people watch D&D uh, &D on uh, Twitch, we love wa uh, we uh, love watching D&D &D on Twitch, mm -hmm. uh, but this is they, this may be their first experience without uh, with a different game system. So uh, we're going to be gentle with you and explain how this works. Um, Masks is a... Uh, a game that is powered by the apocalypse. Um, this distinction is because it uh, the basic rule structure and, and game design comes from a game called Apocalypse World um, that uh, is one of the most uh, influential game designs of the past uh, 15 years, uh, written by uh, Vincent and uh, 
Megui, I never actually had to say her name before, Baker, um, it has inspired a lot of other games uh, to, to follow its, its, its pathway. And its pathway is fairly simplistic. Um, the, the way that the, the system works is that uh, you roll 2d6, uh, you're going to add something off of your character sheet, and then <laughs> we, we had a big fist fight over the dice uh, before we started, and it looks like round two is going to be starting. Um, you roll 2d6, you add something off of, <laughs> off of your playbook, uh, and you want to get a seven or better. There are essentially uh, three classifications of success or failure. Um, Apocalypse World and Powered by the Apocalypse games frame games as conversations. Uh, so in a conversation, sometimes you're talking, sometimes the other person takes over, and the die roll uh, kind of shows off where you shift in that conversation. If you roll a 10 or a better, generally that means that the player gets what they want to do. Um, they get to be cool, they get more stuff than they asked for, uh, if you roll a six or less, that usually means that I, the GM, uh, get what I want, and I do something uh, that's called making a hard or a soft move. Um, and uh, soft moves uh, tend to be, I let out there that there's some sort of narrative trouble that's coming that you're probably going to want to have to deal with, whereas a hard move is often a follow-up to that, where it's, or it's something that comes out of nowhere and uh, messes up your day. Um, the uh, If you roll a seven to nine, that usually means, yeah, we both kind of- Little column A, little column Yeah, you get a little thing, I get a little thing. Everybody makes a harder, soft move. <laughs> Danielle, I know you just want to you just want to keep laughing because I keep saying harder, soft moves um, based on yeah. our, our ASMR uh, discussion from earlier. Um, also bonus well. content, but- um, <laughs> This and a, this is a family stream, you fuckers. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and for those of you who, who may understand the maths, that uh, by rolling 2d6, uh, that usually means that you're going to be hitting that 7 of 9 more often than not, <laughs> which means that uh, these, these situations are usually going to be a little bit A, a little bit B. Um, so... Now that we've explained the rules, let's talk about playbooks. Every care, uh, role playing games uh, have you fill out paperwork, um, but uh, powered by the apocalypse, role playing games have paperwork that is kind of already filled out for you. Um, and these playbooks are kind of like your classes in D and D, but also a little bit beyond that. And what I really like about uh, powered by the apocalypse games is that everything you need to play is on your playbook and on your basics moves sheet. Uh, so everything that we're going to need are on those two pieces of paper and we should rarely, if ever, need uh, to consult the, the, the main rule book during the game. Uh, everybody's had that moment where you have a big dramatic moment, then you're like, wait, what does that spell do again? I don't know. That doesn't happen in these types of games. So each of the players has chosen um, a, uh, a playbook uh, so let's go around the table and do a quick introduction of your character and uh, basically talk about what your playbook is. Um, maybe talk a little bit about your, uh, your, your character's background. Um, oh, I guess I should also say that uh, the basic premise of Masks is that uh, it, it is set in a, super, a city full of superheroes. Uh, called Halcyon City that is very much in the vein of Astro City or Metropolis where supers have been around for generations. There are four generations of heroes. The Gold Generation, the Silver Generation, the Bronze Generation, and the Modern Generation. Uh, all of the uh, characters around the table are members of the Modern Generation. They are teen superheroes who are still struggling to figure out their identities and whether they're going to be good guys or bad guys or whether they're going to be uh, powerful or you know get uh, retire after they decide they don't want to be a sidekick anymore. Um, so that's, that's one of the main focuses of this game uh, is the struggle, is using the struggle for secret identities as superheroes to also mirror the struggle for identities that teenagers go through. Uh, so, now that I've gotten all fancy on that, let's talk about uh, the cool people you're going to uh, get to see watch punching cool things. Uh, let's start with, I'm going to start, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my usual round robin, Ooh. because 
these heroes have been gathered uh, under the wing, so to speak, of the white uh, uh. owl. Sorry, not sorry. Um, <laughs> who is a uh, a uh, vigilante style hero um, who unfortunately uh, has been elected because she's been elected mayor of Halcyon City. She doesn't have as much time to brood on rooftops anymore. So she's gathered together a group of young heroes uh, to uh, uh, tutor in the ways of uh, superheroics. But she started with one. I thought you said you were starting with cool people. <sighs> Pardon you very much. Well, that, <laughs> that's, that's going to set the dynamic here, folks. Um, but let's start with uh, the I'm lovely and talented uh, Tony Thompson, no, uh, just, who is closer. playing our protege, <laughs> Little Sparrow. Um, it's Hawkwing. I, I, the, the paperwork you gave me said it no, was no, Little Sparrow. Hawkwing. Spir it's Hawkwing? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, yes. let me change that for this week. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> hi, I'm Tony Thompson. I am an actor and fight choreographer uh, here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, the playbook I have chosen, because it's in the book, the protege. Um, so the protege. <laughs> That's going to be our ding whenever we get a new follower. So if you want uh, uh, to mess with our flow, follow us. If you want to hear us ding, <laughs> follow our Patreon. What does that mean? <laughs> What does that mean? Oh does my it god. Matter? Uh, matter? I need an essay of what that means right now. <laughs> Five paragraphs. Okay. Um, my alias is Quinn Elliott. Uh, Quinn was raised by a single mother who was an investigative journalist. Um, and uh, once um, Quinn's mother started um, researching the white owl and trying to figure out who she was. If I may interrupt for yeah. a second, what is uh, Quinn, her mom's name? Do we have to yes. figure that out? This is stuff that, you know, we should have written down. No, I, I just wrote mom. All right, cool. <laughs> oh, hey, Chatters. What, hey. Is her, what is Quinn's mom's what name? What's my mom's name? She is uh, an investigative reporter yeah. for the Halcyon City Herald. Yeah. Uh, uh, last name, Elliot. Last yeah. name, Elliot. Yeah. First name. Um, and uh, Quinn's mom is uh, Native American, Cherokee specifically, so go for that. Martha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I played a character named Martha. What's okay. Um... <laughs> Uh, anyhow, so Quinn, um, Quinn's mom was researching the owl, and Quinn decided to take over that research and stalk the white owl because she decided she wanted to be a vigilante. Um, so she stalked, basically, the white owl until uh, she could convince her to train Quinn as, um, as her protege. All right, excellent. Uh, so now, in case you hadn't noticed, there's a bit of a tension shall we say between two of our uh, characters here uh and that of course is because um they're the, they may be teen superheroes but uh they're they are heroes uh, some of them have been uh, heroes their entire lives and in fact uh i'm sorry uh hawkwing yes uh has been uh partners with the other hero with this other hero in our group uh let's kick it over to Arate. The legacy. Hi guys, uh, my name is Jordan Fishburn. I'm uh, just a, an RPG lover here in the city of Milwaukee, um, but I will be playing Arate. The... I love that we're all like, we're here in Milwaukee, and like, like <laughs> Mayor Barrett is going to come walking down like, hey guys, how you doing? I've got a gnome. Wait, the rest of the sausages aren't coming down here? Yeah. Oh, I'm very upset. I, That's sad. I told that line. I am sorry. calling my lawyer. <laughs> You should definitely fight um, them agent in the game. Probably yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll be playing the legacy character, um, Arate. Uh, her real name is Palamusa. Um, she's sort of grown up. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I just yeah, lo I'm just loving that that Tani's <laughs> already in character. Like, yeah. why are you talking? Arate every time Silver you talk? Spoon. Okay. Wow. Anyways, <laughs> for. Um, the legacy character, one of its characteristics is you are carrying on the legacy of a generational lineage of superhero, whether that's family members or um, a, a hat that's been passed. Hat. A hat? <laughs> a baton that's been passed. Uh, or a helmet. Or in yeah. this case, a helmet and a shield. Yeah, yeah, helmet and a shield for me. Jinx, you owe me a coat. Um, <laughs> but uh, a big part of Arate's character is she grew up knowing that 
her family had been superheroes and that she'd be expected to be a superhero when she decided to actually join that lineage. Um, she started training and pairing up with this really weirdo person on joint runs when we were little. Um, but just sort of going into uh, this, it's sort of like her step into becoming like herself and standing on her own two feet and making her own stand for her legacy, finally. And being the leader, obviously. Uh, and being the leader, obviously. No. So, but, like, super lame, though. Uh, so everybody has a uh, connection leader. back to uh, the other heroes in the, the, the city. Um, but one of them uh, has a very... I wouldn't say tragic connection, but uh, let's call it a, um, a more dramatic uh, mm -hmm. connection. Because one of our uh, heroes here tonight is the uh, child of a supervillain. And that would be Tony Cheek, who is playing Horizon, our scion. Yes, hello, I'm Tony Cheek, as he just said. I'm an actor and a writer. Um, also in Milwaukee, Mayor. Welcome. Welcome <laughs> um, I am playing a scion, which is actually not in the main book. It's actually more of a recent supplement. Uh, it's in the uh, Unbound uh, supplement that was just would recently that released. Would be the oh, no. book behind you there in purple? It is. Oh, hey, yo, well, there it is. Ooh, that's a sexy book. It is. <laughs> this is, in fact, the book that uh, I took part in as well. So, uh, Because I know um, Magpie has been really pushing the fact that oh, I worked on uh, one of the books. So this is the one, if you if you want to get it. It's also available as part of that 10% uh, deal. Oh, yeah. So uh, I'm playing Sean Braddock. He is also known as Horizon. Um, basically, his father is a supervillain, um, gone bad, a hero gone bad. He was originally a hero, and now he's a supervillain. <laughs> so, I like the idea of a supervillain gone bad. We, you <laughs> may actually get to see that oh. later. Oh! Yeah. Ooh. So, basically, uh... <laughs> he just got sexier, he didn't go to <laughs> Basically, he went, he went to his father's <laughs> lab. Oh, he Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> he went to his father's lab and thought his father was killed after seeing it all destroyed. So he ended up suiting up and going out to fight the villain. Turns out he got his ass kicked, and Wide Owl found him and informed him that that villain he fought was actually his father and offered him a place on the team. Dun, dun, so dun, now dun. he's basically trying his darndest to just do the right thing and separate himself as far as he can from his father. Now the uh, last member of the team that has a familial uh, connection to... Uh, superheroics uh, is uh, a uh, somebody who doesn't really want to be here, man. Like, not really like being a, a superhero. I don't know. It's not really his scene. Um, and that, of course, would be the character played by Ethan Ixet Anderson, who is the delinquent. Hello, I'm Ethan Ixet Anderson. I'm playing the delinquent. Uh, I am. <laughs> Uh, I'm a game lover, maker of things, and new podcast editor. Um, <laughs> We're learning a lot of things yeah. on the job here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> flying by the seat of my cape. Yeah. <laughs> Your cape has a seat. That's, yes. what, that's pretty great. <laughs> well, if you look at the, the art. It's, yeah, I, 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 I got it. Let him have his booty I cape. <laughs> Hashtag booty cape on Twitter. <laughs> it just got two holes cut out of the back. Make a trend. Oh, <laughs> it's a look. It's like chop. Yeah. Assless cape. <laughs> Hashtag assless cape. No, that's going to go in some weird places. Yeah, probably no. Okay. No, it's no. Like, save it for the Patreon. No, 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 no. Um, well, my character basically grew up uh, basically in the foster system, in and out of different homes. Uh, and so he kind of rebels against the machine man. The system. The system. The mean streets of Halcyon. Yeah. yeah. They had like one, at least. <laughs> <laughs> it, the street is just titled Mean. It's not it actually, is actually a mean. It's, it's, it's a name. Mean Street. It's not like the Mean Streets. It's like Mean Street. Like there's a, Mc, there's a yeah. McDonald's on Mean Street. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> McDonald's. He's not intentionally a bad kid, but he has to do things to get by in his day-to-day -day life. So he's kind of gotten... Bad, a bad and reputation morally well, and he, morally gray is a good way of putting right, it. Right, and he's well, he's also the child of um, somebody who isn't necessarily around much because of her slight prison issues. Yeah. So. 
like so there's that now um one of the themes of of uh teen uh stories are of course uh, kind of rebellion and ram- rambunctiousness and nobody is more uh rambunctious than our final team member uh who is playing the in the physically indestructible but emotionally vulnerable playbook the bull and that is danielle Brin. hey everybody i'm danielle Brin. i'm an actor voiceover artist and a model um and i play helix <laughs> who is uh the bull character helix does not have a name that is known to us at the present time including herself and we'll deal with that as we get into gameplay um helix is as rob said um pretty tough she's the hitter she's the bruiser she's the tank but inside who boy it is a hot mess <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I'm, so, I'm i can't lie i'm so excited to play this hot mess of a character who can hit anything but cannot you know wrestle with her own feelings sticks and stones oh. can't break your bones but words will but gut me words, <laughs> words will inflict some serious serious but words pain. will send me serious into my room crying damage. for three days <laughs> yeah. all right okay so now that we have introduced everybody um we are uh, just about ready to get started but but uh what we are going to start with uh, are uh, a few more uh, pieces of cool stuff that, that we have uh, uh, here. Um, in this game of uh, masks, uh, what they recommend for your first playthrough is that you start in the grand old tradition that comic books start in, which is a big old fight. Um, and uh, we, of, we, of course, love this tradition. Um, oh, uh, the uh, delinquent's name is Figment. Oh, yeah. I should probably say um, that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they made me pick one. I didn't yeah. want to. What's your name, Figment? Wait, um, he's you... not a purple dragon. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we asked the fine folks uh, who, who uh, fo- followed us on Facebook. That's a, that's that's some Stan Lee level alliteration. Yeah. 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 Fine um, folks on Facebook. Do, do so, uh, we asked them to choose the uh, villain that our heroes would face off against at the beginning of our session. And we gave them uh, four choices, one from each of the uh, generations. We've got the modern uh, villain called the Troll, uh, the Scarlet Songbird from the Golden Generation, uh, Cold Snap from the Bronze Generation, and Dr. Infinity from the Silver Generation. Uh, using my very scientific method of counting every, uh, everybody's votes in the uh, the comments, uh, I would like to s- uh, say that the Scarlet Songbird Ooh. came in last. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, and... Are you a street performer? Because that's what I'm feeling. Right <laughs> Pick the red. Nobody queen. likes it. You know what I mean. Um, then uh, Troll was unfortunately in third place. That's fine. And. Cold Snap uh, made it to second, uh, which means that we start today's battle facing off against the silver generation villain known as Dr. Infinity. Dr. Infinity is a time-traveling android who seeks to protect the integrity of the time stream by any means necessary. She has tried to destroy Halcyon City multiple times, condemning it as a focal point for dangerous temporal uh, anomalies. But we don't or like her. In some parallel timelines. They're all villains. She succeeded. <laughs> um, so, at the beginning of uh, a game session, we make uh, a move uh, where I add uh, one team point to the pool. And uh, Lord, our Lord of the Board will add that team point uh, in a moment. I guess I do need a pencil for reading. Um, but we also uh, make a, a second move, um, which is uh, when you enter a battle against a dangerous foe as a team, which is what they're doing, uh, you add two to the team pool, but then you either remove 
or add additional points depending on how they answer the questions. Now, uh, let me set the scene here a little bit. Um, it is morning uh, in Halcyon City. And uh, in the center of the city is uh, the uh, uh, is Central Station. Um, where all of these uh, subways and elevated trains uh, cross paths as they shuttle commuters to and fro uh, from uh, different uh, neighborhoods, from their homes to their work uh, and back again. Uh, and the, uh, the, the, the central, yes? What was the name of the station? Sorry. Central Station. Central Station. Wow. Um, cool. Center Point <laughs> Station. I feel like that's a little more. Center future. Point. Central um, Point. Center Point Station. I like that better. Center Point Station. Center Center Point Station. Centaur Point Station. No, oh my God, I Centaur. Okay. Um, Centaur Point. Center Point Station. So we're, now, we're now doing Lord of the Rings inspired masks. Yeah. It's fine. Um, Wait, there's no centaurs in left. No. Yeah. Harry Potter. One of us could have totally been a centaur though. So there, so the throngs of, of people uh, clutching their uh, their coffees and and uh, checking their phones uh, wander uh, through the uh, the um, the station as trains you know um, and everybody and who's ridden that train <laughs> in no <laughs> knows exactly what it's at. <laughs> that is my that is one of the very few impressions I do very well, which is of course the MTA speakers in Boston. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, uh, and uh, the, the, this is the beating heart of the city in the morning as people uh, commute to their uh, daily work lives. And it stops. Literally. Like, like we, 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 we see a couple panels of like, you know, somebody spilling coffee all over themselves and the coffee hangs in midair as somebody bumps past them, uh, holding their phone in front of their face. Um, we see a, a speeding uh, express train just stop and we, we, we pan through as, as people are, you know, in the process of getting up or sitting down. Um, and in the center of it, one person in motion holding a, a strange floating cube in front of uh, that, that uh, hovers above her palm. That is Dr. Infinity. The light beams shimmer out from the cube as she um, uh, passes it in front of people and kind of and and it, it, it scans over them in that cool 80s laser effect looking thing oh, and as she me. does that she kind of frowns or, or, or tilts her head quizzically and then moves on to the next one and then moves on to the next one and then moves on to the next I one I feel like she's looking for something um <laughs> you think so uh until uh she stop uh, until the uh, the the spheroid uh, cube thing flash and flashes red and it shifts into a red triangle and and kind of squishes in midair. Well, time to eliminate you for the good of the timeline, and a uh, a single long. Uh, nasty looking energy stiletto peels out from her finger as she uh, places it right by the ear of uh, this of a random person who um, uh, like uh, it's it's the, the, the finger is here and they're on their phone talking and they're not even going to notice that uh, they've been lobotomized except who stops her? Dun, 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 Was the who dun, the hint? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> How do you stop her? Um, I tackle her. 
Okay. So, like, so we see. Yeah, I like. I, I like that you've got this quiet scene and like, da 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 da. Boom. And uh, uh, Doctor uh, Infinity goes crashing into uh, the side of a um, of a train uh, that that is 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 pulled uh, that is stopped. Can I come running in shouting, we didn't finish discussing the plan! <laughs> Absolutely! So. As I pull my shoulder out of the side of the train. <laughs> and you see uh, uh, Dr. Infinity, uh, who's an android, so she kind of, like, you see weird blue purple sparks, and then. <laughs> oh, I hate robots. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, so, when you enter into battle against a dangerous foe as a team, you add two to the team pool. For a to they now have a total of three in the team pool. But now, I ask them a couple questions. Uh, <laughs> and that, of course, is who is the... The first question is, who is the leader of the team? Me, of course. I just almost smacked the camera. It's cool. Which is why I should be the leader because I know where the camera is. <laughs> <laughs> Bish, I'm under the camera because there's three of us. So I said um, I almost. Okay. I didn't do it. I just I, it was almost. It was almost a thing. Rock paper scissors for it. Do you either? Uh, do either of you uh, have influence over every other teammate? All but one. Everybody has influence over me. Uh, <laughs> so, so, okay, you guys one. can put your hands down. Uh, because know, the answer is like there it. isn't a leader, which is, of course, going to be great for this fight. Um, Darn it. And... Uh, you just need to give up on this. No. You should have left their hands up. Yeah. <laughs> See? I'm not going to put my hands on you, I son of a bitch. No, I would win. Really. We just sit here sipping tea in there. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just like, their arms start shaking. <laughs> To be fair, she does have a, a, a giant Hulk arm because she was a puppet for the past, like, you know, two And months. I just got back from Winter Wonderland. Right. I have so. stubbornness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, does everybody have the same purpose in the fight? Yes. Oh, kick her ass? Stop. Yeah. The shit. Right. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be another <laughs> point to uh, the team total. And then finally, uh, or two more, does anybody... Team member mistrust the leader or the team. I mean, you're gonna put I your trust up? them, but my hand is staying up okay, because no, you well, already put it down. This, just, this is not the question for both the people who claim to be the team leader. This is a question for the people who don't have their hands up for 85 minutes. <laughs> I okay. I don't trust either of them to lead us to victory because they can't stop fighting. That's fine. That's enough. <laughs> Uh, I mean, that's fair. Is your yep. team ill-prepared or off-balance? Yes! It was no. stated earlier we didn't finish making a plan. <laughs> Way to go, hawk mouse. Ooh. So. Ooh. Wait, All right, is that just a little, Zeno. Is that a... Ooh. Ooh. That's Ooh. racist. Ooh. <laughs> so, as, so as you that's can see, we're off to a good Debbie start guys. here. At, uh, with uh, the, uh, the, the the team on masks. Um, How am I supposed to take notes with my left hand? I put my wrong hand up. Okay, I don't know. now that yeah. we're in the fight, you can put your hands down for reals. On the count of three? Okay. <laughs> One, two, two three. <laughs> Touch your pen. I was waiting for them to both keep it with up. With your yeah. other hand. Same time. I don't know you, man. Same time. <laughs> It's gonna be it's gonna be fun six sessions, everybody. <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Well, this so is, this is informing Helix, actually. <laughs> right, like the, the, you, I'm sure you see this stuff all the time. Just another. All right. Wednesday. So, um, another Wednesday. Arate, uh <laughs> since you directly engage the threat, I'm gonna yeah. have you make uh, that move now. When. Uh, the, she's just like, right, my arm's not hurting. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, uh, each character has labels, uh, which uh, are used in different types of moves. Uh, these labels either add a bonus or a penalty to the particular move that's being made, and they also shift up and down depending on um, what other people do and how other people uh, try to influence them or, or, or what have you. Now, um, 
in this case, I also want to remind you, because uh, we have played this game in the past, and uh, we didn't actually take uh, advantage of this uh, at the last time, um, but team points can be used in two ways. You can either add them uh, to another player's role, uh, if you basically describe in the fiction how you help out a, a player after the role, uh, and that gives you a plus one, or you can act selfishly, um, and uh, like Jordan's doing right you now, you choose to <laughs> you choose to shift a label up or down on your own, uh, and you basically talk about how you're being a jerk, and that will uh, that influences uh, everybody else. So, uh, the move that she is making uh, is the directly engage a threat uh, move, uh, which means uh, she rolls plus danger. My danger is negative one. Oh, really? <gasps> yeah. Did you uh, pick one to add plus one? You get a to? plus one to something. When, oh, during character creation, oh. y'all. Wait, we do? Yes, yep. it says right, it right, says it right there. Do, 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 oh, son do, do, do. of a bitch. So, so now it's a right zero? There. Now it's a zero. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's negative one because I know how to control myself. So mm. Do you, though? That's why you're rushing in. <laughs> That's why I'm you're rushing Greek, in. Not Russian. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, you that. also yeah. know that I mean, Doctor Infinity is a dangerous, uh, dangerous character. Who's who... going to kill somebody? Right. It's our job to protect the weak and innocent. Yeah, not many of those. You just around. think that everyone's weak, don't you? I mean, aren't they? Oh man. <laughs> I really hope that rolls well. Five. Okay. That's five plus three. So that's an eight. eight. All right, so when you directly engage a threat, you roll plus danger. On a hit, you trade blows, which means that you're going to hit uh, Dr. Infinity, uh, and, but Dr. Infinity is going to hit you back. Unless you choose one, and, but you also get to choose one of these options. You either resist or avoid their blow. You take something from them. You create an opportunity for your allies, or you impress, surprise, or frighten the opposition. Which of those choices would you like to take? I feel like I wanted to take the sphere thing from Dr. Infinity. All right. I thought it was a cube. It, it, was a it changes uh, <laughs> It changes shape. Not because I'm an inconsistent narrator. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, what this means is, so how we handle uh, damage, it's not really, uh, they're, they're called conditions. Because in superhero comics, you, like, People get beat up all the time, and it's it's kind of weird to have hit points for a superhero game. So instead, um, characters deal with conditions, and conditions are primarily emotional, especially for teenagers. Um, and they uh, give penalties to specific moves because it's hard to it's hard to you know hit really hard if you're afraid of it, and then so on and so forth. Um, and uh, so, Erte is going to take a condition, um, but uh, Doctor Infinity is also going to take a condition because you did succeed on the move. Yeah. Um, so, Doctor Infinity, she is going to become uh, insecure Ooh. because you took her fancy little gadget. Now, which condition is Erte going to take? She's going to take angry. All right. Um, because, you know, Dr. Infinity just keeps coming back and tries to hurt people in the city, and we have to keep doing this. All right. Sure. Uh, so go ahead and... Um, Fancy new cup. Uh, mark, that, uh, mark that condition, which you did. Um, and I marked the condition uh, for uh, Dr. Infinity. Now, when, uh, when somebody makes a, uh, inflicts a condition on a, a villain, uh, they get to make a move in, uh, in the game. Uh, you may notice that I don't have any dice in front of me. The GM in uh, Powered by the Apocalypse games never rolls dice, which is honestly one of the few flaws that I find. In <laughs> I mean, if you're if you're playing an RPG, you want to roll them bones. Um, when he kills us, he wants an excuse. Right, I want to be able to. Go, I, I wanted to let you live, but the, I mean, the dice. I rolled, yeah. I rolled fifteen of those d6, and they said that I had to kill you. I'm so sorry. Um, so, uh, she is going to uh, speed up or slow down time in a specific locale. 
Uh, so you snatch that away from her, uh, and uh, sh she turns and is like, you must return that immediately, young... Uh, you must return that immediately, uh, Erte 2. And because you snatch that away from her... You you hear a weird pop sound as one of the time as the the one of the time bubbles that she's cast just goes up and you start to see a train uh, speeding up again um, even though the people getting off of it are like they're getting off of it but the train is moving faster in the future. At that moment, can I drop in and try holding it back? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so describe uh, describe your scene. Um, basically, just out of nowhere, uh, Horizon drops in like a beam of light, just <laughs> like a lightning bolt, and just like is holding it back as he's like slowly being like pushed back with it, but he's trying his damnedest to keep that thing from moving. All right. So uh, this you are making the defend move here because you're trying to defend someone or something from an immediate threat. So I want you to roll uh, 2d6 and add okay. your savior uh, label to it. Okay. Eight. I got a nine. All right. That means that uh, you keep them safe and choose one um, of those choices. Um, but on a seven or nine, it costs you, uh, you either expose yourself to danger or you escalate the situation. I expose myself to danger. Okay. Um, so you drop in, um, and, oh, oh do you want to add a team to the pool? Do you want to take, uh, in, uh, you can choose either a team to a pool, um, uh, take influence over the uh, over someone you protect, or mm -hmm. you clear a condition. Uh, I'll add a team to the pool. All right. So we're um, back up to can three. I try to provoke Doctor Infinity? Uh, sure. Let me just uh, uh, um, let me just uh, finish off a uh, Horizon scene. Um, so you have a uh, a natural uh energy field right mm -hmm. that, that's that's one of your powers <laughs> yeah so uh i think what happens is, is you is the, you the, the train launches forward and you drop down in front of it and catch it and dig in and um you're slow you you uh, you're slowing the train down mm -hmm. but you're also melting into the front of it oh so cool. and it is basically wrapping around you wrap, wrap. And oh, if shit. you don't, uh, and and unless somebody pulls you out of it, you're going to be trapped inside the like. You actually kind of mm -hmm. see the, the 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 poor driver at the front of the yeah. train, like <laughs> yeah. you know, looking <laughs> at you as you're like, "Hi!" Because <laughs> <laughs> um, the train wants to push forward, um, but you've got it. You 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 become this immovable energy object mm -hmm. right in front of it. Are the people clear? Um, the people are clear. Uh, yeah, the people are clear because okay. you, made, you you succeeded on the roll. But now you've got to worry about uh, your uh, horizon having a train wrapped around him for the next. You know, can can I pop in, hug him, and pop us out? Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, help. Um, and help. If, if I were to provoke her, would she maybe lose control of what she's doing? Or uh, yeah, you okay. uh, you can definitely provoke her. So so. Um, I'm trying to think. Do I want to... I don't think I need you to... Hmm. I am going to have you unleash your powers because I feel like okay. that's a tricky thing to, for you to do. Like, if you're yeah, just so standing it's there... It's a large he's size. He's getting smushed of, yeah. at the moment. Right, like, because you basically have to... Like... Yeah. Like, you, I think you have to jump in, like, touch him, and pull him out. You have to koala his ass yeah. precisely. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I just yell, Drop running there. a bit hot here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, boy, which... Hey, <laughs> um, this is the second worst smell I've ever smelled in one of these trades. The first one is bird popcorn. <laughs> the first one is bird popcorn. Yep. Uh, so go ahead and unleash your powers, rolling freak. Ooh, that's a six. Oh. All right. So nice. Tony's um, dead. 
<laughs> so the good news mark, is, uh, well, the good news is, 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 is that the failure, um, right? you need to mark uh, potential. Experience. Potential. Um, uh, in many oh, of wow. these games, when your character fails a roll, um, you gain experience because, you know, when you when you mess up, you go, I don't ever do that again. Um, I never want to save someone ever again. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we've learned today here. Yeah. Um, you already don't want to, so. It's just... <laughs> and um, the uh, in this case, um, this is hmm, this is the hard move that I want to. So because I've got kind of a soft move, I think. Am I dead? So how do yeah? <laughs> can I can I well, still have the turn? I can go save him. Hold on. Bye, so. Let me ask you this. How do you make it worse? Oh, oh great. Now you're in front, too. Do you two? transport the trains? Super. <laughs> it depends. Okay, so let's see. I, I appear right behind you. Uh-huh. I grab onto you and, and I, bam, may, may I suggest? Yes. You grab onto him. You take and, the suit, but not and you, That's kind of what I was thinking. No. Uh, <laughs> sitting there naked. <laughs> and, 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 that's, what I was thinking, that's, that's what I was touching. No, you, you touch him. <laughs> And you are like, I got, I know how to do this. And how do your powers manifest? Does the cloak just kind of wrap around him? Yeah. The cloak just wraps <laughs> around him and oh. it pulls back and he's gone, but you're still there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Like, hey, oh. that was pretty cool. Oh, and you can see, and, and now you've got this, this, th these like, you know, torn burning spikes coming at you. Great. I think this might be a good time for the bull to intercede, don't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if I I have a specific bull move called you've got a head you don't need. Oh, you well, tell us about your specific bull move. If I provoke somebody, I can roll danger instead of superior. Okay. And I have a plus two on danger as the bull. Okay. So I think I'm gonna... Um, provoke the train? No, no. You... I'm gonna provoke idiot over here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that that the way that you want to save him is dumbass. What are you doing? Of course. So um so have you told the audience your full name? No. Not yet, I don't think. Well, now's a good time to enter. Yeah, okay, so I think I'm gonna go. Hey! Bitch up! <laughs> His last name is Bishop. So I'm gonna go, hey bitch up, are you done being an <coughs> are you done being a fuck up yet? Cause uh, because when the when the um your your cape unfurled it got hooked on uh the uh the the, the, the sharp Tree. pieces in the front so you like you don't want to tear your magic cape because that's probably bad yeah um so go ahead and uh provoke him what are you trying uh to get him to do um I'm trying to get him to save his ass instead of the cape got like if you die, who cares if the cape is good? Because you did. Okay. So just grab your fucking cape. All right. We can, um, we can or, sew or, or, it. Or, or, or I think, yeah, I think the what you're trying to provoke him to do is rip it. Yeah. Just rip it. Just rip the it's cape. It's a magic cape. It'll be, it'll fix itself. <laughs> it'll be fine. So uh, you're rolling with danger <laughs> instead of superior. Yep. So add plus two. Yep. Um, five plus two is a seven. Uh, Barely. Can I roll to interfere using my Mary Contrary? What are you going to do? Tell me about that, bro. Uh, when someone tries to pierce your mask, confront you, support you, or provoke you, <laughs> uh, roll plus superior. On a hit, they take negative two to their roll. On a 10 plus, you also take influence over them and clear condition. On a miss, they get a 10 plus no matter what. That's oh, poor clear condition. Nice. Oh, so you're trying to miss. Yeah, because I don't want to tear my cape. Fair. Yeah, that's true. Okay, like, yeah. That's a but magic if you cape. fail, if so you fail, so what? So what are you saying to trigger this move here? Are like, you're, you're what, what do you what do you you're are you trying to mom. argue? Are you trying to, <laughs> <laughs> this is the last thing I have left, man. Yeah. I don't want to rip it. Oh, this is the this is the last thing that your mom. Yeah. Had? Oh, oh, that's so this, that's so sad. I'm totally gonna use that against you, like <laughs> um, in like half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Roll it. Eight plus superior, that's ten. Ooh. All right. So, so what, you so get what a negative two on your roll. You get a negative two on your roll. So I have a five now? Yeah. So you failed. You dick. Mark, uh, <laughs> mark a thing. Mark, uh, Potential. Potential. We're gonna, we have problems. Here, it's in my ear. Where's my... Oh, thank you. <laughs> so I also think you're going to take a condition, too. Yeah. And my condition is angry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I provoke... 
um, <laughs> Dr. Infinity. Can it theoretically stop her from yeah. um, doing what she's doing? Okay, I would like to do that. <laughs> Condition is angry, uh, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Let's try to save your bitch ass. Uh, oh, yeah, so I forgot. We also have the... Um, the condition cards, which Ooh. tell you both what uh, uh, what penalty that the the um, uh, the character takes to a specific move based on what condition they have, and it also tells them what uh, they have to do to get rid of this condition. Um, now there are uh, there's a move that the players can make, uh, which is called comfort or support, that uh, can help uh, get rid of that. But there's also an action that the player can take uh, to get rid of it. And because we're teenagers, it's usually doing something really stupid. Um, so you you are both uh, angry. angry. That's correct? Yeah. So. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, so Ooh. currently they take oh, it's me. a minus <laughs> two. How about that? They take a minus two to, comf- uh, to, com- uh, to comfort or support someone or pierce the mask. Uh, but... They discard this card at the end of the scene if they hurt someone or break something important. Oh. Like the cape. Oh. Um, okay. I would like oh. to pick up a piece of rubble and throw it at Dr. Infinity's face just to get her attention, not to harm her. Right. Um, and then point out to her that what she's doing right now will fuck up the timeline pretty royally. All right. Because she's hurting people that are not supposed to be hurt today. Right. Okay, roll it! Uh, five plus my two for superior is seven. So, um... Barely. <laughs> on a seven to nine... Um, they on a seven to nine, they stupid. stumble. You take plus one forward against them. Uh, they err. You gain a critical opportunity. Or they overreact. You gain uh, influence over them. I'm going to say that they stumble... Um, and you're gonna you take plus one forward against them uh, because uh, Doctor Infinity turns and, and looks at you and says, "All I wanted was to extract the brain matter of that one person, and then I would have, and that's uh, all I needed to do today. But you are the ones uh, who are. You are the ones that that are going to cause much more problems with the timeline. So now I, I so now I must uh, stop all of you from destroying the timeline." And the easiest way to do that is to destroy you. And well, um, you're a bitch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, when uh, oh yeah, you don't you wouldn't swear. You're a birch. <laughs> <laughs> you're a bench. What nice. a bishop. <laughs> nice one, Chicken Wing. Yeah. Um. So, uh, I think she Hawk Knight is going. Uh, so, uh, it was Hawk Wing. <laughs> Wing night. <laughs> yes, yeah, Tuesday night at Barney's. What's wing night? <laughs> mm. uh, no, it's 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 hawk it's hawk wing today, right? Isn't it? Hawk wing. Yeah. <laughs> um. It's so a, a strange uh, purple blast comes arcing out uh, towards you, um, and. Uh, I think that is actually going to be a. Hmm. I think that is going to be a powerful blow, because okay. she's like, I am tired of you guys messing around. I and now I have to like she's moved on from, I'm going to to do this one thing and then be out of here to be like you guys are m- messing with me so you're okay. slowing me down. Can and, I get in front of that? Uh. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, my legacy has a move called Never Give Up, Never Surrender. By Grab Thor's Hammer. <laughs> when you take a powerful blow for with someone from with far greater power than you, use this move instead of the basic move. Roll plus savior. On a hit, you stand strong and choose one of the options below. So you're going to actually have to make the defend move first to get in front of... Uh, oh. Hawk Hawk. Hawk. Wait, oh, wait. Sparrow Hawk. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh feel free, uh, uh, viewers at home, to send in your uh, your uh, little sparrows workshopping different names that are hawk and or wing based. I gotta so. break away from the little sparrow. Persona. Right, because like it, it, pigeon crap it, is my. Eritasa <laughs> <laughs> birch is my other one. Pigeon crap. <laughs> 
thinking about this all day. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I expect, I clearly expect Jordan to pull out, like, a notepad and be like, all right, so, starting with the A's, we've got... I really wish you had a white suit. A wet suit? A white suit. Oh. Because bird crap is white. All right, so, you you would have to make the defend roll. Or okay, the defend that would roll be first. the white owls. Okay. Um, oh, so white then owls. Then I roll plus binge. savior, and then I roll... Definitely. So, you make plus the defend savior, move, which okay. is, yeah, plus savior. <sighs> okay. Do I get a plus three for that sick burn that no, I just did? No, no, <laughs> okay. no sick burn uh, bonuses here. Okay, so four, five, six, seven, plus two, which is nine. So, um, well, you're exposing yourself to danger, um, and you choose uh, whether you're adding a team to the pool, take influence over someone you protect, or clear a condition. I'll take influence over somebody that I protect. <laughs> <laughs> She's been hoarding those influence cards, guys. <laughs> Just uh, Can you, slide we'd, that We'd on. like to keep with the punching. Yeah. Can we? Yeah. Come on. Give that it. Sweet give yellow it, give card. It, give it. All right. Um, I'm just trying to get a paper cut. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So go ahead and make your move. All right. So now I'm going to never give up, never surrender. All right. Roll plus savior again. Pedal to the metal. That Amanda. is again four plus three plus two. So nine. Nine. Uh, so is that the? So that's. Oh, this this one. Um. So on a hit. So it's, uh, yeah. Read what it says for on a hit. On a hit. Um. On a hit, you stand strong and choose one. I get an opportunity or opening against my attacker. I rally from the hit. Hit and it inspires the team. Add one to the team pool, and. The other one is keep your attacker's attention. I think I'm going to rally from this hit okay. and inspire everybody on the team. Speaking of which, quick question. I don't think I'm inspired. <laughs> Where the hell did I go? That's a good question. <laughs> I'd really like to like you just you on a mountain top, guys. where I'm really cool. <laughs> hey, hey, guys. Um, uh, can, can we, we have, at the Froyo shop? Can we have a cut scene where he's no, no. talking to the cape? <laughs> Like, did you? Yeah. Is, no, no. I actually, I know where you went, but we'll get back to you in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, all right. You me. jump in front of this uh, massive energy thing, and I and I uh, and I give Hawkwing the spear thing, and turn around and take the blow, and then just. Yeah, just if you want to point out that I had plus one forward against her, and then you just throw it down into the ground, and then reset. (laughs) I never and and everybody does. She does look pretty badass. Like it's not not me. I don't. Wow, that was so awesome. I just I literally I'm too busy being stuck in front of a train. Okay, so the only person who's actually impressed is me, which is surprising because I'm usually not impressed. But like that was pretty fucking great. I'm pretty cool. I'm pretty cool. Um. I'm going to rewatch so, uh, that like video footage from the central station. So if I could teleport myself away, I don't know if I'm caught too much for that. I'm Otherwise, could break somebody the with some other power like break this train? Um, can I? <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't let me help you. I didn't want to rip my shit. It's magic cape. <laughs> okay. Have you learned nothing from Dr. Strange? Can I jump in and try to nothing. pull him out now that the train is paused again? Like, uh, just detangle the cape if I can. Yeah, um, able, I don't know if that's something. Yeah, you're that. able. You're able to, to get him de- detangled okay. uh, from the the cape. I've got a comb and some detangler well, spray. No, uh, <laughs> like, oh, okay. I'm filing that away for later. So, um, rock and hawk oil. Uh, <laughs> the the cape. One, yeah. So so, uh, uh, hawk wing. I feel like I'm gonna make you wear one of those. Hello, my name is. Like, somebody <laughs> with a hat. Um, Actually, that's a, that's yeah. a great idea. Uh, the ninja flips over to um, Figment and as and, I'm going, I could have yeah. taken that hit. Yeah, and, and 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 as soon as she like touches the cape, it lets go, and it's just like, <laughs> oh, he likes me. Um, can I can I do something to the back the villain? Yeah. What's his name? Cool. So I, I'm going to try and provoke her. <laughs> okay. Um, what's her name again? 
Uh, Doctor Infinity. Thank you. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going <laughs> to... This is going to be... He looks his strategy oh, for most God, things. It's going to... Hey! Doctor Aspinity! <laughs> <laughs> Very simple, very punchy. <laughs> and then I think I'm just gonna right hook her in the fucking face. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so it, I think you're actually uh, directly engaging a threat here if you're punching her. So give me. So why don't you roll plus danger? Okay. Great. Now remember, you can, uh, you can use a team point selfishly if uh, you if you talk about how it's selfishly, or other people can basically. Uh, after your roll, spend team points one for one as each of you go, well, I do this, well, I do this, and I do this, and I'll form the head. And, and that's how you use uh, team points. Well, I do <laughs> punch everyone whenever you charge into a fight without hedging your bets. Did I hedge my bets before I hit her? Well, read, read what the full moon says. There's only one person, yeah. Uh, you can shift your danger up and any other label down. Yeah, do you, if you want to do that, absolutely. Yeah, because, like, yeah, There's I think... people around, you know? I mean, um, I reminder, think... if you get all the way up or is it all the way down, stuff happens. Both. Both. Yeah. So oh, if you get all the way up. Shit, well, shit if you down. if you move if you try to move past all the way up oh, okay. is when it happens. Okay. Okay. So you're fine. Now. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. So what? Episode, which label are you shifting up and which label are you shifting down? Um, I will shift. Oh, is it behind your ear? Thank you. Do you want your uh, own? I don't know where your. She went. has. Where is my? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> the... God damn it. Um, so I'm gonna shift pack. danger up. Watch yourself. And then Shoot. I guess I will shift. Mundane down. Ooh. Yeah, you can do that. Oh. I'm anything but boring. Danger. Um, so, uh, here we go. Oh. Four plus three is a seven. seven. Okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> Unless, I don't know, Figment just decides to <laughs> like tra math. transport you to the Froyo shop. Yeah. So you can choose to uh, resist or avoid their blows, take something from them, create an opportunity for your allies, or impress surprise or frighten the opposition. Um, I think I would like to frighten her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I think she's surprised because they, you know, I'm a kid. Okay. But like, that hurt. Okay. <laughs> uh, so she's going to take hopeless as her uh, second condition. <laughs> Can I throw an axe at her? Yeah. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> And uh, you, but you also will take a condition because you chose not to you trade blow. So which condition are you going to take? Um, <laughs> let's see here. Oh, I'm going to pick guilty because... The cape? Because the, I'm thinking about the cape and I do feel bad. Huh? I'm going to pick the cape. Guys, I, it is fight one and I already have two conditions. Oh, yeah. And I'm maxed out at danger and minned out at Monday and this is... <laughs> <well>. <laughs> Um, Can I, I throw a hawk at her? By min maxing. Uh, <laughs> like a, a, hawk whole... a tomahawk? Oh, a tomahawk. Oh, I thought you meant got a hood on it. Her tomahawk. I thought you meant an actual hawk. It's like, hawk. go! Yeah. Um, <laughs> hot shot for do. Hawk. Oh, yeah. It's hawk! Hawk! <laughs> hawk. <laughs> Come. <laughs> and your tomahawk um, just sits on your arm. Oh, my God. No, it's a real tomahawk, and I throw it with my hand. So, you rock her with a vicious right hand. And, like, she goes down, and you're kind of feeling like, ah, yeah, you know what? Uh, cosmic time traveling birch doesn't, you know, I just jacked you up. And she looks up at you, and you see her eyes, uh, like, light up. And, and that, that I did weird, have plus one forward against her. Just... That weird... Um, Energy that was coming out of the the spheroid. The one that I'm holding. You? Yeah, Me? but but it comes out of her eyes. Ooh. It was just a comedy of our own. <laughs> you. You're, you're, you're the one. You're the one who, and then a tomahawk catches her <laughs> oh, right in the, <laughs> in the head and drops her forward. I'm the what? I'm the what? And oh, sorry, she God. fades out from this timeline, having been defeated. And the rest of... Ha -ha! <laughs> she, was, she was telling me something important! 
I walk over to Figment <laughs> and I un. I oh, already he's, he's undid already the cake. Oh, okay. Never mind. Good. Sorry. I go. Where's Sean? <laughs> <laughs> I pick up my hook. Yeah. <laughs> And out of all of the places that you would think that Figment's uh, cape oh, I know. would send you, oh, no. the last one you would possibly ever imagine is a press conference? Oh, that's Ooh, not what I thought. What? And that's where we'll take uh, our first what? commercial <laughs> break <laughs> for <laughs> Max's oh, okay. Future Shop. Uh. And when we return... We'll find out just what that all means. So stay tuned, everybody. <laughs> and welcome back, everybody, to the second act of our first issue of Masks Future Shock. Now, when we uh, last left our heroes, they had just defeated Dr. Infinity and returned uh, Centerpoint Station uh, to uh, its normal temporal standards, although one of the heroes ended up in an unusual place, and that would be Horizon. Hello. You are sta <laughs> you are standing in what looks to be a lobby, and it doesn't take long for you to recognize where you're standing. This uh, is. Uh, AU Tower. Uh, and it is the uh, center of the uh, Cashman um, manufacturing empire. Uh, and uh, the, the reason why it has such prominence within Halcyon City uh, is because the uh, first Char the, the first Cashman, Charles Cashman, um, had a career as a gold era hero called the Gold Standard, um, and there is a, um, a, a actually I think like I, now that I think of it, I think scattered throughout the lobby as museum pieces are kind of the Iron Man suits that he wore throughout the years that have been decommissioned because he's no longer uh, well it. Uh, he, he passed away a few years ago um, so uh, and, and, and I think that to, uh, as a visual uh, split from Iron Man they're more along the lines of kind of that retro deco like C-3PO Metropolis kind of thing so gotcha. they're, they're, yeah. uh, they're, they're a, a, a bit more like that um, and they're, 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 they're all scattered because you've been here before, like this is a this is a, a place where where the Halcyon City schools often take kids because they get to run around and go, oh look that and and and, and, shh, shh, and, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and but you've noticed, uh, you know, you you noticed the, the the subtle change in that all of them ha have been turned to look at a stage that's been set up uh, in the lobby area, and there is a a clutch of reporters gathered around um, the stage. And you've just kind of appeared here, and, like, I think one or two reporters kind of look at you like, eh, who's that? I don't know who that is. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, uh... I just kind of scratch my helmet. Just yeah, like, you're like... <laughs> here you go. Um... And then, uh, so, like, there's also this sort of, you know, throbbing EDM music played at a low volume. Uh -huh. And then there's oh, a, sorry. ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the CEO of uh, Cashman Industries, Charles Cashman the Third. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, uh... We <laughs> suck. He comes out, um, uh, and uh, he's dressed in, in rich kid casual. Oh, he's got Sperry's on, doesn't he? Um, <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, they're rich people boat shoes oh, nice. that people wear as a status symbol when they're certainly not boating. But probably not on boats. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Let's Thank you, young person. Um, <laughs> I'm on that millennial grind, yo. <laughs> well, so Yeet. so he no. so he so he's got the the the, the kind of the, the 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 shave top haircut, oh, except the side that shaved isn't actually shaved because it's been replaced with a uh, golden uh, cybernetic. Oh, piece. what a douche! I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> um, I hate this guy. Like his, his like so his whole. Uh, upper like skull area here is 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 gold. Okay, now hold up. Anybody was it replaced thinking? because of an accident or something? Because I, I feel that like making fun of him. Fifth <laughs> element. Yeah. yeah. What's that? Yeah. What? Fifth element. A little bit. Yeah. Oh, kind of the uh, the Zorn, <laughs> the Zorn I'm just cut. Aesthetics. Um. Yeah, I think it is a. Aesthetics. Okay, good. He's a douche. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna punch him in the dick. No, well, wait. <laughs> At least I am. Hmm. I don't know about you guys. No, I, 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 changed his mind. I changed my mind. It actually is I, I, because he comes from a superhero family. I think that he was actually kidnapped and like damaged ah, in, a, in a thing. Do you? No. Um, <laughs> so like the right side of his head and his arm are all gold plated cyber. But he uh, like cybernetics. loves it. But he's not. Well, he gold plated it. He okay. yeah, like <laughs> he could have gotten a. Replacement. I mean, I love how none of you are there, but you guys are talking the most. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, speak up. There's I know. I say. I'm really, there right now. I, I kind of like the fact that that you know, despite all of their like you know tension, that they have spent time flipping through the the superhero gossip magazines <laughs> and straight like up, straight getting up. their you know. Uh, and, Felix's and, secret. Joy <laughs> is looking at. We like to watch the <laughs> TMZ of Halcyon City. Right. HMZ. HM. Halcyon. A- HCZ. HCZ. <laughs> um, What's the and don't know. Zine or magazine? Yeah, Zine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeet. Oh God! I have to stop. Oh my God. <laughs> Throw something. Yeet is a motion, not a. <laughs> This bitch empty. Yeah. Thank you. I need that. I know. Um, and, 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 and he walks out, and, uh, you know, the, the, the music comes down, and he uh, folds his hands together. Oh, no. Pray hands, pray hands. Uh, I'll just be a few moments. Um, I know that you are all very busy, and, uh, you know, I I know that my grandfather uh, liked to give these uh, speeches better than I did, but I've got to get back to, uh, you know, Versioning the, the, uh, the all the projects that we're working on here at at, uh, at Cashman, um, but I'm very excited to announce a new project uh, that we're going to be rolling out very very soon. Um, Do I have like a recording device in my headset? I can. Boop. Yeah, I, you you. I, I think that you all have. Uh, Run it over the little communicator. Uh, don't you? Isn't that one of the things that you picked? Is that is that you basically all have owl. <laughs> Ears, owl ears. Owl ears. Yeah. Woo, woo. Um, and then the worried. sides of our necks. Yeah. <laughs> um, also for the aesthetic. I forgot that their ears are in their fucking neck. Yeah, and they're like, there's the hole. Yeah, covered with feathers. Um, you, you learned something today, folks. <laughs> We're educational as well as hilarious. We've had. <laughs> Back to you, Bob. <laughs> Back to you, Chad. Now, here <laughs> in Halcyon City. Heroes are a common sight. Um, my grandfather, Gold Standard, uh, was one of uh, the first uh, heroes to put on a, a suit of armor and and take the fight to the the crimes and the the boot, uh, the criminal the organized crime and bootleggers uh, in uh, Halcyon City. Um, and he was eventually joined by uh, other, or he was. Uh, inspired, of course, by the first hero, Champion, and inspired other heroes, um, uh, and fought alongside great heroes like uh, Erte and White Owl. Um, but the superhero paradigm is one that is not immune to change. Um, we are in the middle of a generation where we have not defined ourselves uh, like the gold or the silver or the bronze generation. We're still um, um, making those choices. And I hope that the uh, product that I'm about to uh, roll out will help define that choice. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, 
I'm going to make it easier for the heroes of Halcyon City to do their job. And I'm doing it with the push of a button. And he pushes a, a, a button on the back of his cybernetic arm and like a little you know hollow emitter appears. Uh, and there is a diamond-shaped uh, logo. Um, what this what is super. It is an app that you can download for your phone. And uh, it will uh, allow you to signal the heroes of Halcyon uh, City when you need them. Now, um, my grandfather, of course, uh, had a giant um, uh, golden spotlight on the top of AU Tower that was lit up whenever... Uh, he was needed. And spotlights are great. But we uh, we can move things forward. So, uh, this app uh, will allow you to, uh, when you see something going wrong, when you see villains, uh, when you see Cold Snap attacking uh, the Halcyon City Bank, when you see... Um, uh, a Rook Industries uh, destroyer bot uh, hovering over the museum. Um, all you have to do is push the button and the heroes who are part of the super program will come uh, to your aid. You don't have to run to a phone booth or do something like that. I mean, are, do we even have phone booths anymore here in Halcyon City? And there's a murmur There's of, one on the corner of... Th that's great. What else am I supposed to change? <laughs> um, what did you say? Where else am I supposed to change? <laughs> now, um... Just get naked in front of people. <laughs> it's a modern generation, yo. I'm not worried. Now, what, for services like this, the first question that I'm sure that you, report, that you reporters would have is, well, how much does it cost? Who's paying for it? And the answer is simple. I am. I have billions of dollars. I don't need them. And the development that we've put into this app and the development that we, that we are uh, doing to make sure that it works properly is my version of putting on the gold standard suit. There are plenty of heroes in the city who already do a great job, and I would just be getting in their way. I mean, um, I, and I've had personal experience with... Um, and he kind of looks at his, his robo hand for a second with the way these things work. And I know I'm not cut out for it. And it's better to leave it to the to the professionals and the men and women who uh, and uh, Xeno sapiens who <laughs> who put their lives on the line every day to protect normal people. So um, what we're going to do is we've already uploaded uh, the app if you have an AU phone. No. It's like U2 all over. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're, we're going to... Uh, we've already uploaded it if you have a trust phone. Um, and if you don't have a trust phone, uh, you'll find it at your local app store and you'll be able to download it for free uh, so long as you are downloading it within... A Halcyon City because we're we're only really rolling it out here to start first, um, but and if if it goes national, then maybe we'll start talking about you know recouping costs. But I'm really not concerned about that. Um, as for the heroes, Douche. you need for, you need to be able to receive the this message, and so. If you come to AU Tower, you will get our brand new uh, beeper. <laughs> <laughs> our brand new oh one five Robo Pigeon. Our, be <laughs> our brand new Nokia brick. <laughs> no, um, trying to think what how how he would version the trust phones like the S or the maybe like an implant of some sort. Well, no, no, no. Oh. Like like what type of ver of. Ew. Uh, like, would he call it the Omega? Would he call it the... Oh. Alpha. He would call it the Alpha. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I, mean, I think he would. It's a beta rollout, though, isn't it? Well, but the phone. Okay. 
Yeah. That's fair. Or he, um, would, or he would call it like the platinum phone or something. Depends on the carrot. Oh, oh I like that. 24 carat. So oh, we are going true. to give you give you an uh, AU phone platinum, uh, which is uh, which is advanced beyond the gold X, um, and it is exclusive to supers uh, here in the city of in Halcyon City. All you have to do is come to the tower, and you get it. And as we will, uh, and and you take it. And uh, the app is already installed. And all I ask is that when you get that call, we have our computers um, are going to do this the the dispatch work and make sure that heroes on the scene are um, uh, the, the closest are the ones that are dispatched or heroes that are uh, better suited for a particular crisis uh, will be will be will be sent to a specific area. But the point is, we want to connect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing because one of the chat is like, "Please take these very non-evil phones." Yeah. Yeah. Um, Speaking of which, can I mm. pierce the mask? Sure. It shoots a little laser. No. Um. <laughs> the the mundane uh, move allows people to kind of see through what other uh, bullshit it, uh, are, <laughs> are doing. So go ahead and make that roll plus mundane. Also, so I'm hearing this over headset. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, I'm assuming we're. I he... would like to jump over there. Hey, Horizon. Got... Does yeah. he look as much of a douche as he does in the magazines? Well, he's wearing boat shoes, but we're not on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's got a uh, what looks to be a shaved haircut looking thing. Ask him if he talked to any Just heroes kinda... about this before yeah. he rolled it out. So uh, you rolled a six on it? I did. Okay, so that means you mark potential. Okay. Um, <laughs> and Such a diplomatic way of phrasing you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you done fucked hmm. up, eh, eh Ron? <laughs> You're messed up now. <laughs> so let's see what I what I want uh, him to do. Um. <laughs> The the uh, the chat audience is like, use some team, do it, do it. Um, <laughs> you haven't used any, go for it. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, we have so much. Good idea, chat. Chat Can I do is that? so smart. Uh, <laughs> sure, but one of the other heroes has to uh, tell you how they're helping. Hey, Horizon. Um, yeah. You should uh, walk ask up closer he... and ask if he's spoken uh, to any other superheroes. Either that. Or Can I just appear on stage and my hand out ready for a phone? I love that move. Oh my move. god, that's so good. Okay. Good job, Finn. So that's going to move <laughs> Does that he to need s- to unleash his powers to try and No, 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 no. Okay. no well, I think he knows how to me. I know how to do it myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's doing objects and other If there's people. one thing a teenage boy knows, <laughs> it's how to do it himself. Yeah, beat me to it. <laughs> hey! hey! Um, okay. <laughs> so that, that bumps that up to a seven. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, that means that you get to ask Just one of those questions. What are you really planning? What do you want me to do? What do you intend to do? How uh, could I get your character to blank? How could I gain influence over you? I would like to ask, what are you really planning? That's what I would have picked. That's why I gave him a picture. It's very simple. You, you, like, you... And it's not even necessarily you asking him this question. It's you mm-hmm. like standing there and thinking and watching him talk. And you're like, he wants to corner the superhero market. Mm-hmm. Like, he wants everybody to use this app and these phones. Like, like and, and uh, Figman appears and, and the crowd kind of like, gasps. Like, ah! uh, but Trust rolls with it. And he's like, well, I see we have our uh, first customer. Uh, and he... Uh, reaches in to he's wearing a blazer. He's got to be wearing a blazer yeah. and pulls Maybe out a linen blazer. Yeah, mm-hmm. like like he looks like he's like gonna a creamy yellow. He looks like he's uh, he he is gonna finish this speech and immediately hit the yacht with a couple of models and you know jet off to Mallorca or something. Yeah, and, and plan fire festival. All right, 2.0. Bruce Wayne. Um, Can I perk up and like ask a question? Uh, you certainly you can, but I want to finish this description. Oh, okay, because uh, he does he. Uh, has a phone ready to hand over to I you. I take it and I disappear. Go. <laughs> yeah. And then um, you want to put it in your hat. And then can and I use my disappear? illusion ability and reappear as someone else? 
<laughs> with a with my hand out. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Brett, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, oh, two yeah, transferred. Okay. Is there is there an intent for this other than just I want two phones? I have to sell one. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the intent. Do you do uh, so? What hair do you appear as? Um, oh, that's a great question. Basically, I would like to be in full boating gear, almost like a sea captain. <laughs> okay. Yellow raincoat and everything. Yeah. The hat. Yeah. <laughs> Big old beard. Wait, what's your fake hero name? Uh, this is. Or is this a real hero? The captain. <laughs> Boatman. <laughs> Boatman. <laughs> Boatman's pretty good. <laughs> he only helps so, you. Yeah. So uh, over your head. as he gives you the phone, he he oh, kind of turns okay. and gestures, and of course that's when the uh the the supermodels come out with like you know piles of phones, uh, and he says, and everyone here at the conference, of course. Please take uh, the uh, a uh, trust phone compliments of both myself and my grandfather, who worked so hard uh, to to build the city up and, and to build oh. our wealth that we could uh, that we could do this. That it is the greatest gift that, that I can give to the. Uh, and of course, all the reporters are like, "Oh, hey, cool, free phone! <laughs> Finally, I, I actually got something in one of these things. Usually, it's just a crappy pin, you know." Um, <laughs> What so do you? How do you want to break in and ask a question? I just want to be like, uh, excuse me, w did you consult with any heroes? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious as to who signed off on this on the heroes end. How does the mayor feel about it? I say over the yeah. headset. <laughs> um, How does the mayor feel about it? Well, that's that. <laughs> we decided we decided that a public test would probably be would be the best. So. Um, we're just kind of rolling it out there and, and see how and we're going to see how it goes and then we're going to refine like and iterate really and refine unwise. and iterate and refine and iterate oh my god that's um, the most unwise thing I've ever heard in my life Are did, did you and, and he gestures There's to no you with a phone there's no control process on this at all sounds like every company I've worked for <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, that's I, Ethan talking <laughs> uh, I take one and I look at it and I look back at him and go how's the mayor feel about this thank you well, you know, all of the, uh, if you want to talk to our, uh, uh, our, my PR person, I think they have a press release and a press kit and that will answer all those questions. I've got to go. Thank you all for coming. Um, namaste everybody. And, oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, and he's, is he wearing one of those real long necklaces? Like one of the ones that you get the, if you visit Thailand? Thailand? Um, the prayer Yeah, beans. sure. Yeah. He's oh. definitely not wearing a belt. And maybe... <laughs> 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 that guy's not wearing a belt. <laughs> um, he is full on apple. I, I have to laugh because the the uh, the 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 chatters are all like this fucking guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 we're with you. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty awful. Um, I'm gonna punch him in the dick. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Corral at the owl's nest. I thought it was the aviary. It is the aviary. Corral at the aviary. <laughs> Right, the owl's nest is what I call my fight. Don't room. we perch there? I and think I think Helix just leaves. <laughs> Helix I, just, I, after I, that, she just dips. I'm <laughs> ending this bishop. transmission. <laughs> Good <old> bishop. <laughs> um, to the aviary. Okay. So, what does the aviary look like? Well, there's a lot of bird shit everywhere. <laughs> well, no. So yeah. the aviary. Uh, so. Um, the little sparrows in the corner pop the squat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I think we, we, we talked about how the aviary is more of like a like a clock tower or yeah. a watchtower as opposed to a cave. Yeah, um, I think it's like the the top of a clock tower that um, has been converted. So we've got really modern. Can little sparrow have like a plate like... of food laid up in front of her, and she just goes. <laughs> I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> she, she might from the other side of this four foot wide table, which uh, <laughs> Ethan made. He did. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So I think it's a clock tower. Um, we have like maybe a hangout corner with like the couches that we found at Goodwill, the beanbag chairs, the beanbag chairs, and the whatnot, yeah. and then 
we have just weird gadgets and gear and whatever that the owl has provided us with. We're teenagers, so there has to be at least one bead curtain, oh, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's a bead curtain. <laughs> a love sack. You know. yeah. The they love sack. Oh, that sack. love sack is Helix's. <laughs> <laughs> this, like, that, that was like 80% of your belongings. <laughs> 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 yeah. Helix is down. Helix lights up an American spirit and opens a tab. <laughs> um, I think we also have like a small library that's an odd mix of like encyclopedias and then tabloids and like weird some box scrolls. car kids. Interesting. Yeah. Scrolls, scrolls and some whatever and then more tabloids. And, <laughs> and uh, uh, lots of weird snacks. <laughs> Weird. Sorry, uh, uh, I came into this after the physical description of trust, but I feel like this guy is neon white. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. <laughs> he he is no that mayo is too spicy white. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, are, now when you arrive, do you have time to yourself, or is White Owl there waiting to debrief? I mean, I think she's probably doing mayoral things. Okay. I, I so. think I head directly to the lab and start, like, dissecting this phone. Okay. I texted my aunt on the way. Okay. Just asking if she has time to touch base later. Okay. I texted I, mom to be like, I'm at my internship. Be home later. <laughs> I text a group. And she texts you back. Phone. Good. <laughs> uh, or, or, or she texts you back. Uh... I'm at I'm at the worst press conference ever, <laughs> but I got a new phone out of it. Smiley face. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, she's probably there. Cool. Uh, Helix goes to take a nap. <laughs> well, yeah, because you've got a concert tonight, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What's the name of the band? Um, what was it? S- Rope Wars? No, what's the name of the band that you wanted to use? Oh, the name of the band that I wanted to use was like Demon Riot or something. No, like there was oh, another Rob one. Rob and the oh, assholes. Oh, yeah. A bunch, a bunch of assholes, assholes, assholes and, and Rob. Rob. Yes. That's the <laughs> name of the band that you and uh, um, Figment have tickets for tonight uh, at yeah. A. We do. That sounds and like it. a really bad concert, you think? Listen, the name is ironic okay. and it's going to be a fucking great time. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to go with us? <laughs> Does she want to go with us? You idiot. <laughs> I really think that we Don't should talk about when, what happened. When you, when, you, when you say, do you want to go with us? Uh, Figment's cape actually kind of like slowly creeps around your shoulder and it's like, oh. come on. <laughs> what is he doing? That actually wasn't the name of the band. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. We... we I made a game day decision that game was funnier. So, (laughs) um, what is he doing? I don't know. And and it skitters back. Dude, your cape is like creeping, having feelings. Got its own thing. I think I start like popping open books and like. I mean, yeah, like if you if you want to come, you totally can. It's gonna be like a great time. There's gonna be a mosh pit. There's gonna be like the floor is really sticky, so don't wear your shoes. It's beer, whatever. Ew. You guys oh. drink beer? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just look at her like, oh my god. So uh, I think you're trying to assess the situation here. <laughs> Uh, yes. So I want you to go ahead and roll a plus superior. Okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't assessing <laughs> shit. Yeah, that, that doesn't happen there, Rob. Okay, what is this? Is a Marka, Marka. Um, So what did you roll? Four? I got yeah. it. And, uh, because your superior is at zero? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Could I use Ben Reading the Files? Which what does is that do? One of my protege moves. You've learned about the superhuman world through your mentor's resources. When you first encounter important superpowered phenomenon, the Cashman family, perhaps. Yeah. Um, roll plus superior on a hit. You tell the team what important detail you've learned from your studies. The GM will tell you what, if anything, seems different from what you remember. On a ten plus, ask the GM a follow-up question. They will answer it honestly. On a miss, the situation is well outside your base of knowledge, and the GM will tell you why. All right. So yeah, uh, go ahead and. Um... Look up, uh, look up the Cashman on the Owl computer. Ooh, I got eleven. Okay, so uh, what does that allow you to do? Um, I tell the team one important detail that I've learned from my studies. Uh, that the GM will tell me 
what, if anything, seems different from what I remember. Yeah. So what'd you learn? Cool. Yeah. Great. So what do you, ma- so what do you remember? I for this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to come up with a thing. Oh, um, no. <laughs> so maybe, can I know what the use, like maybe what the usage of um, trusts fake body parts, like if they have some enhanced usage? Um. Yeah, I mean, he... What you remember is that he probably could, I mean... He could be a hero, Mm -hmm. but he, like, he spent most of his life instead running the the Cashman Corporation. Okay. Is it, is it Cash Corp? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably Cash Corp. Ew. Well, it's probably, it's probably the Cashman Corporation, but everyone has now nicknamed it. Uh, it's, uh, TCC. Okay. Um. Um, and then on a 10 plus, I can ask you a follow-up question to that. So he basically he could be a super like you if he wanted to, but he isn't for okay. whatever reason. And so could you. Um, my follow up question <laughs> then is: Can he use those enhancements to like scan someone's cell phone who's standing near him, or like? Oh yeah, I mean you could right. do that with a cell phone. Like his his gadgety stuff, yeah. he can do. I mean, the. He basically imagine that instead of wearing a full suit of Iron Man armor, he has that built into his arm okay. and his, his so skull piece. So he could absolutely cool. Like if you walk past him, um, actually, nah, even better. So your library tells you that part, but your uh, love of uh, HCZ tells you that one of his favorite tricks to pick up girls is to scan their cell phones and to basically then use that information. Uh, against them and be like, oh. What a creep. Oh my god, that's oh so my creepy. God. <laughs> oh, we need to take him down. <laughs> now <laughs> downloading nudes. <laughs> oh, that's even worse. No, he would never do that. Sure? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. Oh, hashtag, he going down. <laughs> Ugh, we just, okay. Like, we, so like, we don't have a reason to kill him quite yet. Yes, he can play oh, Doom yeah, on the arm. No. Um, we'll, get, we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. Okay. So we're taking him down. Um, I tell everyone the thing that I learned. Slash no. Wow, he's even creepier than I thought he was already. God, this is disgusting. Okay. Oh, I've woken up from my nap with the sleeping uh, sleeping mask on my head. And I I think this is when White Owl appears, because I think, uh, because this is how she works, is that she adds some piece of information that you don't know, um, because she knows freaking everything. And uh, I think the second she appears, I go on, like, like military, like yep. rest, <laughs> yeah. Parade, rest. Um, <laughs> what? Um. What does she? T- let's see. What does she tell you that that you don't already know? Oh, I think she says. Uh, there is, or he survived. An attack. Um. From the from six members of the Atomic Army when he was five years old. Yikes. He's had plenty of opportunities to take the Cashman Corporation into, shall we say, negative directions. And he has, as far as I have seen, not. So this is White Owl's big entrance. White Owl is Catherine Littlefeather, who is also Mayor Littlefeather of Halcyon City. But when she appears in the aviary, she appears in her uh, White Owl costume, which uh, she's been uh, fighting crime since the Silver uh, Generation, and now uh, uh, still had a cost has a modern costume. And um, I, I I like to describe her as. Um, uh, an owl-themed version of the Brayfogel Batman. Uh, just a long uh, ca- uh, white cape that spills out onto the floor, uh, and she has uh, little feathers and flaps uh, all along the bodysuit that it, that it shoulders over, and a, uh, a, a hood that is kind of a little, has that Assassin's Creed peak to it that helps to shadow her eyes. But her arms are completely, you know, so she's got this kind of, you know, shape to her. Um, all right. Report. 
Oh. Yeah. Oh, did she do this? I. I wonder if she does this. I think she does. Report. We um, apprehended this suspect, um, Doctor Infinity, at um, Central Point. Uh, Center Point. Incorrect. Station. Report. White Owl. We found out that Cashman Corp has sent out a new tracking Incorrect. device. Report. Mm. We did some shit. We ended up here. Technically correct. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Report. Uh, I was trying to dissect this phone and I think I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, what happened? I, we have to we have to figure out what. Um... By the way, that's totally correct. I totally brought it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, no, I. I <laughs> um, I think you th- th- there's a there there's a code flashing on it, like you know. Uh, Self destruct in three. Yeah. Nu- <laughs> nuclear <laughs> phone boom. Yeah. No. Tamper alarm. <laughs> yeah, like a like a like a tampering error. Oh, okay. um, you could buy my extra. Well, so so you you have price. avoided the warranty. <laughs> um, Do I not get a report? Report. Uh, I punched Doctor Infinity in the face, and it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> also, technically correct. You did not apprehend Doctor Infinity because she vanished back into her own time stream. Oh, I am, w- am fully aware of the Cashman situation, and I'm also fully aware that you charged into the battle before f- uh, finishing your plan uh, with Little Sparrow. We had no time. She was about to... Let you were fighting us. a time traveler. You had all of the time that you needed. I appreciate you uh, uh, trying to be more proactive with the... Uh, f- uh, with the phone, but uh, the cash, uh, Cashman technologies are the uh, people who I steal my technology from. Don't do that. I, he gave me it. He, regardless, you shouldn't have tried to tamper with it. As for everyone, you, we need to work on our team dynamic, which means that tonight we will be working on combat drills and detection. So, um, you have 45 minutes uh, to get dinner, then report back here uh, so that we may begin. Francis. <laughs> yeah. And, and she disappears back up into the... <sighs> Francis, we have a concert. Don't worry about it, I got it. Sparrow starts making ramen. I got this. Don't worry. <laughs> what did she mean we can't tamper with it? Is she asking us to stay out of this? Uh, sure sounded like it. Wait I'm assuming... I go and call my aunt. <laughs> I'm assuming it has some sort of tech that will send any tamper reports back to trusts. Oh, perhaps. I'm also assuming that she's already doing something and doesn't want us interfering. So my assumption is that we're going to go to the concert and I'm going to make a cardboard cutout of us that stands in the background. <laughs> you, I let no. You just tell me I got it. Yeah, that's it. That's all I, I tell you. No, and then I think I think everything's fine. Yeah. Like you. Like are you, you telling us that you're doing that, or are you or just, just no, that's just my oh, plan? No. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I will say that maintaining an illusion of training while you go to a concert, you could probably unleash um, your you powers know? and try oh, to do it. pull that off. Do it. Totally what I want to do. So hold that thought. <laughs> Or rather, hold that move. Yeah. Um, I'm over here stuffing my face with ramen. Yeah, yeah. You're you're like forty five minutes. We got to do this. I got to do some laundry. I got to I got to study for class. Blah, blah, blah. Um, There's math homework over here. Yeah, and and, uh, and your phone goes off. Oh, uh, fork. <laughs> I think it is adorable that 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 Quinn actually swears and then corrects herself afterwards. Like that is that Maybe you that's absolutely a new thing, keep that I can't as, stop myself from swearing. as your as, as as a running gag. I love it. I love it. I okay. love it. We'll keep it. Um, it's 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 your mom. Uh, her. I think it's her. 
think I'm going to go with not Martha. Uh, I like <laughs> Not Emma. Martha. Such an interesting... Emma Quinn? Yeah. <laughs> um, not Martha. Hey, Mom! Uh... I need you to show me how to use this phone, or or, or, or can you hack it? Can you hack this phone? Oh, <laughs> wait. You lost the feed. Oh, oh shit. No. Do you know when? Did they say? Okay, there oh. we go. Okay, <laughs> okay we're, we're back up, so let me just recap. Um, uh, Quinn is cramming to get all of her stuff done before uh, the practice session with White Elf. Uh, White Owl, and she gets a call from her mom, who is, who asks her, can, I, I, I need help, uh, can, can you hack, can you hack a thing? Are you good at, are you good at the hacking? Um, what, what am I hacking, ma? Uh, well, I got this free phone from, uh, TCC, and it seems really shifty. Um. <laughs> like, why would you give out a free phone? Like those are those are bad usually, right? I mean, they're rich people. Yeah, but you don't give you definitely don't give rich uh, out a phone like this to somebody who makes the kind of money that I do. I don't know if I can hack it, but I can look at it. Okay, can uh, can you meet me at home? I got like twenty minutes, and I gotta be back to help the mayor with a uh, thing. What for what thing? The what gala? What gala? Next week, month, year. <laughs> Smooth. Well done. On the 32nd of March. <laughs> March number 11th. Yeah. Um, that one, the one for world hunger sadness. <laughs> oh, <boy>. <laughs> <laughs> Say the... Uh-huh. Um, Say the... the the children, the children, the children affected by villains. Affected gala. Okay, by okay, villains. Okay, gala. Quinn, Quinn. What? Quinn. Yes. <laughs> you can stop lying to me. Um, I'm going to a concert with my friends. I'm sorry, mom. Okay. No, that that's fine. You should go and and have fun with your friends. I'm glad that you have friends. She's kind of glad that you have friends. <laughs> yeah. That's a first. Well done. <laughs> um, I can stop home for like 25 minutes, though. Okay, do you need me to go to the drugstore and pick up some protection? <laughs> wow. What? Um, well, you might meet somebody what? there. Like a dental uh, man? No. Oh, oh my god, no. <laughs> Rob. <laughs> His name is Rob? <laughs> You can hang up at any time, Quinn. I'm hanging up! <laughs> I think Neil just looks at her and goes, Dental dick! Shut up! You didn't hear that! She said schmental schmams! <laughs> I'll be back in a half hour! And I leave and get on um, the paracycle. So, how much did we hear, and did we know why Dal was a mayor before this? Um. <laughs> no, we had. No, I think yeah, so. I think okay. Yeah. Like, just I think checking. It, no, that would just be so like, funny. I feel like the the first thing she probably did to gain everybody's trust is like, okay, I'm the mayor. Like I am here to to to. <laughs> um, I would also like to say that that uh the uh the 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 Twitter chat says that you have the best mom ever. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, yeah. So good job, momming Rob. <laughs> I mean, that's what most people do forget about dental dance. Oh, so that was a man. great parenting. Well, we've been watching uh, Sex Education on Netflix, which is amazing. Uh, um, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. Um. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. So, uh, <laughs> meanwhile, uh, you're you're just talking to Aunt, uh, to Auntie Erte. Yes, I want to get the lowdown on what's going on, and I don't want to wait <laughs> anymore. So, Not okay, so like where where are you taking time. this private call? Um, I assume that there's like a an outside area 
Is it some out, is it some outside area that only you can reach with your yep. amazing abilities? Yes. And... She stands on one of the clock hands. Right. <laughs> the ones that aren't the second hand, obviously. The Ooh. hour hand. Just stand on I like just sit down on the hour hand. You stand on our hand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Taking the call. Trying to reach her. At whatever time of night this is, I don't know. Mm. I, I I think you you um, what was a est? What was it? What was her real name? Was it Estra? I think it was like Estrella. Estrella, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hi, you've reached Estrella. I leave a message at the beat. No, well, this isn't. You know what to do. New phone. Who dis? <laughs> Hey, um, Auntie, uh, just wanted to touch base real quick. I don't know if you heard, but there's this really janky thing going on with some phones, and I don't know, it's just WO is not giving us the information that we really want here, and I don't want to just leave this be. Give me a call back. Uh, we're about to do some drills. Do my best. Love you. Speak well, to you soon. What is your, uh, like, what is, uh, what is Polly's favorite, like, fast food? Uh, like... Taco Bell. <laughs> I, I think it's gyros. Yeah, it's, it's like, <laughs> no, it's like I, it's like a pizza puff. Uh, she she likes getting like pizza puffs and pizza from like yeah. Like like I, I uh, what would a what would a pizza chain uh we'll, we'll throw this out to the uh, the audience what would the a a pizza chain in Halcyon City be called? We'll bounce that out to the uh, audience. It's a deep fryer truck. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Um, or yeah, and well, either way, I think um, you 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 hit the thing and you smell that pizza puff. You look to your left, you look to your right, you look up at the top of the clock, and there is uh, Estrella in her Arate outfit. <laughs> She's the best. <laughs> holding a uh, holding a, a greasy paper bag and waving. You're the best. I jump up there. <laughs> uh, I was so hungry. I don't. The chat. The chat. <laughs> oh, sorry. Some good, some good oh. stuff. Some good stuff. Okay. Polly's Pizza Palace. Ooh. Pizza Ninja. Oh, Ooh. Pizza Ninja. Ooh, Dr. Pepperoni. <laughs> oh, I love that one. <laughs> All right, Dr. Pepperoni, it is. <laughs> thank uh, you. Thank you, Fedora. Yeah. Thank you. I like um, to pretend that he's in there going, like, I will destroy you with saving. <laughs> 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 I will destroy, destroy your, your taste buds. Yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> and then, and then, and then so, welcome to Dodge Pepperoni, where we destroy you with flavor. <laughs> <laughs> My name is yeah. Carl. Can I take your order? We, we've got... <laughs> we've they got, also have the best video arcade in town. <laughs> yeah. uh, we've got a special on Atomic Sticks and uh, our 20-inch uh, our disruptor pizza. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, the gut disruptor. Oh, <laughs> So good. Um, Dr. Pepperoni, my favorite. I jump up there. If, any, oh. if anyone wants to fan art the menu of Dr. Pepperoni, <laughs> go, go right ahead. Yeah, any graphic designers out there want to give us a Dr. Pepperoni logo? For free. Well, yeah. For uh, funsies. Yeah, for funsies. For funsies. Uh, but anyway, yeah. the... Um, uh, <laughs> the uh, so it's you and... Uh, uh, you, we, we informally refer to her as Anti uh, Arate. This is the Arate who currently possesses the full mantle mm -hmm. of the legacy. Um, the, this manifests primarily in the fact that um, uh, Arate, if you haven't seen the, the the picture online or in our in our corner, uh, is dressed. It, it, it's sort of a cross between uh, a Spartan warrior and Wonder Woman. So she's got mm -hmm. like the big red cloak and a tunic and, and the bracers. Uh, whereas the uh, elder Arate um, has the full helmet with the brush uh, with the brush back mm -hmm. and a magic spear, mm -hmm. um, and <laughs> the uh, so the next scene is like the two of you sitting on the roof and she's just got like the the the, the helmet and the spear off. Does it go off? No, I don't think it goes off. I think, I think it, goes, it goes away and she just yeah. is able to go zoom and, and it pops out. Yeah. Um, and you're just happily bunching away and she's like. So, uh, who'd you fight today? Um, Dr. Infinity, um, she t 
temporal no, moved I, away. I, 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 I fought Doctor Infinity before. She's yeah. um pain in the butt. Well, yeah, I mean, she's a time traveler. Time travelers are always pain in the butt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for this pizza. I thought I was going to die of hunger. But I did a pretty cool move. I helped uh, Sparrow get out of some trouble, and uh, we took away her little sphere transforming thing a little bit. Um, but I wanted to actually talk to you about Trust Kid, Trust Fun Guy, CCC Guy. <laughs> trust. Uh, Polly, Polly, we're having dinner. I know, sorry. Like, I, I know you, you want to discuss, you know, the cases and things that you're doing, but it's also very important to just relax sometimes. Like, look okay. at this. And she gestures out over the the uh, Halcyon City skyline. We are two of the only people that will ever be able to see this city like it is. Yeah. And thinking or uh, and 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 this view should help remind you of why we take up our name. Mhm. Cuz you can look out and and I mean I can hear so much of the city and it just Sometimes I, I come up to, to a high building and I just watch the sun splash out over all of the glass. And it's... Beautiful. I know you've never been to Olympus, but... Don't tell, don't tell Grandpa. <laughs> but that view is better than anything that I've ever seen yeah. on Olympus. She is trying to influence you. So, when you have influence over people, um, you can do a lot of things to them. Uh, and one of those things is you can shift their labels. Mm -hmm. She is trying to shift your mundane up while uh, sh uh, pushing your... What do I want to push down here? Oh, yeah. Um... <laughs> I think she wants to push your superior down. Now, I'm so superior. <laughs> um, when somebody tries to shift your labels, uh, they can. Excuse me. Uh, they can either choose. Uh, they can either take that shift, and listen to the person who has influence over them, or they can try to push back on it. Hmm. Um, I will take it. Okay. She brought me pizza. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so your, your superior goes down and your uh, mundane comes up. Okay. Because at the end of the day, you know, you're getting to sit there and eat your favorite food with, my, with your aunt. My and, favorite aunt. And that's pretty cool. Yeah. And, um, so, uh, we then cut back to your plan. Oh, <laughs> uh, where, I, I think we, we, we cut back down to, um, you know, White Owl standing and, uh, the, uh, and, and um, She's looking at Horizon. But basically, you two are on one side of the of the the, the clash area, and uh, you two are on the other side. All right. Attack pattern Omega Seventeen. Go. The uh, uh, Sparrow and Horizon launch out with some attacks. And it's time to test what, uh, whether your illusions are up oh to you. I expect they won't move much. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so go ahead and roll. Uh, um, unleash your powers because since Figment is trying to do this while he's still at a rockin' concert uh, <laughs> elsewhere in the city, that's a bit of a push on these powers. Yeah. This is plus Ooh. freak. 
Now, we will tell everybody the uh, result of that roll after we return from our uh, next break, which we're actually a little overdue on, but that's okay. You teasing bitch. (laughs) So we'll see you in ten minutes for the third act to our first issue of Masks Future Shock. (gasps) And welcome back. Uh, We are... Uh, just about uh, getting ready to uh, check out the uh, con- the concert of a bunch of assholes and Rob, uh, <laughs> as attended by uh, Figment and the Bull. Yeah, I have a name. Oh, I'm sorry, Figment and Helix. My apologies. How dare uh, don't, you? Don't p- never piss off the Bull. And um, the uh, And um, the uh, before we went to break, we. Uh, had Figment roll the move Unleash Your Powers to be able to push his illusion powers to uh, come up with convincing fakes uh, to clash with the other heroes um, while they snuck off to this concert. Uh, So what did you get on that roll? I rolled an 11. All right. So um, when you unleash your powers... um, so he successfully unleashed his powers, which means that rather than getting into a, a brawl with um, uh, Erite, Horizon, and uh, Little Sparrow, I'm Hawk sorry, Wing. Hawkwing. Um, White Owl is totally calling her Little Sparrow. Oh, oh at, <laughs> yeah, White Owl is sure. absolutely calling her Wild. You're, you're the one who's really pushing the oh, nickname. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. No, Sparrow, lower your left. Lower it. Um, yeah. Uh... But the the illusory Helix and Figment are uh, keeping up the pace. Um, For now. So, <laughs> what kind of place is is a con- uh, is a concert held where the uh, headlining band is a bunch of assholes and Rob? The Ray. <laughs> We're not in Milwaukee. I know. <laughs> uh, maybe like, a, like the rave. Let's call it the grave. Ooh, <laughs> love it. Oh, nice. Because um, it's uh, well, be, because it's rumored to have been built on an old um, uh, graveyard. Cemetery. Yeah, and they ne- and you know they never dug up the bodies and blah 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 blah. So it's it's of course in a in a uh, dingy part of um, of Halcyon City. Um, and you know, even as you you are walking up, you can feel the the thrum of uh, of he- of heavy beats and loud guitars just shaking the walls of this of this crappy old building. Um, and we cut to a a, a a a a raucous scene inside the place where um, there is a. a where you know kids are smashing against one another, and um, uh, there's a there's a, a band on stage that. Uh, hmm. Megan, what I'm trying to think of. Rob's a good... on a hoverboard. <laughs> <doing backflips. laughs> no, I like like I feel like uh, maybe they're dr- oh. Uh, it's a like a girl punk band called White Owl and the Feathers. And so yeah. they're wearing like, like what they're 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 wearing Halloween costumes of different uh, known heroes that they've tore up and like you know trashed out. I uh, love Sparrow would hate things. this so um, hard. Yeah. Like a riot girl band. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, I think I think that's actually the, a bunch of vassals and Rob is 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 all of the band members are dressed up uh, in, in 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 punk things and Rob is just straight suit. You know, skinny black tie. Uh, oh, that's you know, so awful. Lead, uh, you know, lead, lead singing. Um, uh, but the song is about... Uh, anchor of my heart? No, the song is <laughs> not Anchor of the Heart. Um, uh, the song is... About getting fucked up. Yeah. Um, like Alcohol by Google. No, no, no. It's like... Uh, uh, it's, 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 it's a song about getting drunk and uh fucking a battle bot and wait what (laughs) like how i got uh how fucking a battle bot yeah like putting your dick in a battle (laughs) yeah you played a battle bot last time around 
<laughs> Maybe this is how yeah. we, we did the thing. No. Uh, <laughs> Call that. No. Um, I did play a And um, the, the, the music is loud and raucous. Um, what do you do? I'm not destroying my dick. Bruno was destroying my dick. Get in there and. Oh, we mosh. Yeah. Get, get in there and try we, to love someone. We get into the center of the mosh. Are you we're like supers. drinking or doing drugs? Yes. <gasps> um. All right. Felix <laughs> <laughs> uh, is figment oddly silent. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? He's I'm moshing. Are you Are you imbibing? I'm imbibing in Elkema halls. But you don't see me do anything harder than that. Because I did once, and the teleportation got weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's You've a thought a lot point. about this. Okay. Um, uh, this is also probably the first time that you have actually been just with Figment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Should we stop swap spots right now? Do you guys need a moment? <laughs> it's okay. We can talk over you. Okay. <laughs> Do you need to talk to Little Sparrow's mom? <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't need a little stress. <laughs> oh, so good. So good. <laughs> he looks has shit handled. Uh, it's a great, it's a great concert, right? Yeah. Yeah, like the kick ass. They're real assholes. I know. I love it so much. Right? Uh, good. <laughs> do you, um, do you want, you want a drink? Sure. Okay. I already have one, though. Oh, we can take another one. Well, I'll get I'll 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 get you one later. Okay. Actually, actually, or we could go get one now. Let's go get one now. Okay. Great. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. Uh, welcome to a very special episode. Uh, a super realistic <laughs> teenager. Like, like <laughs> you, you have not felt your heart beat this hard yep. since the last time you were in the cage brigade. And you also have, n- have not seen that guy who is um, crawling on the catwalks above the stage since you were fighting in the cage brigade. What do you do? I'll deal. I'll deal with him in a minute. Okay. I'm gonna. This is, this is the one time that I'm gonna let my feelings be, and if I don't do it now, I'm never gonna. So, um. <laughs> so that, that's some committal right there. Friend, um, Bishop Francis. <laughs> you're man you're just you're just you're just so great to hang out with and like you actually listen to me which nobody really does it's real loud here right now what was that <laughs> <laughs> you're really you're really great to hang out with and and you listen to me which no Buddy does, except you just didn't, but it's fine. <laughs> I, I, I have something that I need to tell you. I don't want to be in the middle of this anymore. Just hide, just hide. Yeah. Help. And no sooner do you say that, as if the fates that uh, Arate rambles about constantly heard that <laughs> then just have one eye. there is a massive blast of lightning and a body comes flying out on stage and smashes into a bunch of assholes but Mrs. Rob yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way a bunch of assholes and robs was one of the names we were thinking of thinking for the stream <laughs> but it was already taken so it was really yeah. um <laughs> Bands just snatch everything up for us. And um, uh, he he goes crashing in, and 
descending from the catwalk, surrounded by um, a uh, uh, an, an an arc of lightning uh, that shoots out and, and and lets him hover down into the ground, uh, is the villain known as Arknife. Ooh! Oh. Did he do his little turns up on the catwalk? He did. Yeah, cool. on the catwalk. So cool. Yeah. They on made the catwalk. That, they, yeah. they made that joke thirty five minutes ago. Oh um, damn it! <laughs> Y'all are it's way better. So, yeah. I think, <laughs> so I'm still both Why angry and guilty, right? Yep. Sidebar though, Arc right. Knife. Um, I'm a fan. That's a cool name, and it sounds cool. Um, some, some tomahawk. Hold on a second. Let me check something really quick. Uh, wait. Hold on. Please hold. So if you have friends who aren't watching, but you want them to catch up for next stream, a week from today, we should have our podcast and YouTube channel up with this episode. The channel's up. The the video. Yeah, the the video. video. (laughs) Also, you can catch up on our last arc of chill, and before that, our arc of feng shui, too. We also have some pretty dope one-shots that'll be up there soon. Yeah. Some pretty dope one-shots. And catch (laughs) our friend podcast, Plot Points. Yeah. <laughs> Our bro podcast. Our bro Lockman podcast. says Arknife. <laughs> you better tell me what you know or I'm going to cut it out of you. Sidebar. Which one is the one that I fought? Uh, Arknife. Ark, so it's not Lockman, it's Arknife. Yeah. And I think he just ruined Helix's fucking moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am already angry <laughs> and guilty. Mm-hmm. So she done. Mm-hmm. Okay. I am going to uh, punch everyone, charge into a fight without hedging your bets. All right. Um, wait. Well, no, I shouldn't do that because then I shift my danger up. Yeah, yeah you can't do that. Yeah. 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 Can't do that. that would be like existentially bad yeah. and I, I mean die. while we're training does something bad happen when this happens because maybe some focus disappears hold on hold on okay just well, a thought I'll directly engage a threat <laughs> I'm going to quietly look up what happens if you sh- uh, shift your thing so you're just gonna you're just gonna directly engage well I think okay I think he he cuts me off and I just look over at figure I'm like Good talk! And <laughs> Good. and then I grab one of the beers and I chug it. I down that shit in two and a half seconds. Like, you know, you open your throat and it just and goes through. Um, and, and then I just go, hold my glass. <laughs> and I charge glasses. at... Oh, it's Thank a fancy place. place. They're using glass glasses? No, like, one hold one. my bottle. Or hold my solo cup. I do not know what you're... Look at chat. All right. <laughs> like, we, every we need... time. <laughs> what happened to the whiteboards? Oh, they're right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All I see is, isn't it just marking a condition? So I don't know what you're what the answer That's is. Like, if you open up, up past. Oh, okay. That's right. All right. Yeah, so I think... Chat. Yeah, I think I'm Thank really you, chat. So great. You're so great. Chat's got our back. Love you. Good talk! <laughs> and I can chug the beer, and I barrel into this guy who just ruined... My moment to talk to my crush. I'm just going to reveal something very important. And he <laughs> fucked it all up. All right, so go ahead and directly engage this threat. Not like I wasn't fucking it up already. But no, it's his fault. Totally. His fault. <laughs> totally yeah. his fault. That is a minor detail. You were doing great. <laughs> Thank you. I was doing great, wasn't I? <laughs> he was totally going to love me. Oh. Ooh. That's Maybe a great you role. choose different dice. <laughs> You should let me. You should let me have those dice. <laughs> that's, a, that's a six. Okay. Ooh, mark that. Uh, so that's go ahead and mark some potential. Mark that potential. I mean, it makes sense that I wouldn't do well because I'm very emotional. Mm. So, I'm, and maybe also under the influence. Maybe. Maybe you definitely <laughs> said you were. Doing I just something. chugged a beer yeah. at the age of what? Sixteen. Okay. What? I. <laughs> We do not advocate teenage drug use or drinking. <laughs> Listen to the uh, So, so wait, you've got, you've got a six right now? Yeah. Wait, night. 
I guess I'm I kidding. could take a team. Don't do that. You could take oh, a team and use wait. it selfishly, and that would push you into seven. Hondo P. Okay. So uh, when you use a team <laughs> selfishly, um, you basically have to describe what you... Basically, you you have to describe what you do that makes it such a dick move. Like, it, so you, you have to do something, I think, to... Hurt his feelings. To hurt his feelings or something along those lines. Ooh! Um, uh, you, you say, uh, you say how your actions ignore or insult your teammates, uh, and then you shift one label up and one label down your choice. Oh, God. Okay. Well, I think, okay, the thing I want to say is, you, oh, no. <laughs> I think you just you were rooting around in the drawer and you found it. Say You're it. Like, mm. Say it. Your cape has a crush on Sparrow, and that means you're stupid. <laughs> it does though. I'm gonna name that cape. <laughs> and if you have a crush on her too, that also makes you stupid because she's a baby. Oh, you're so lucky I'm not here right now. <laughs> Sidebar, I kicked your ass. I feel like everybody in chat right now is typing D A M. Damn. Damn. <laughs> All right, so since you hit, uh, so, so that's gonna you're gonna bump your danger up. Um, no, because then I go over. Oh, so you, you actually can't do that because that way, because if you're well, already just using team to yeah yeah, but that shifts labels be... that doesn't add a plus one. Well, yeah, I can shift a different label. Yes, but you still have to shift your da your danger uh... up to get the to get the bonus. I do because you're not just adding plus one. Um, I can't. I, well, I can't just shift anything up. You because to okay to get to be able to get the hit, you. Have to shift. You would have to shift your danger up by one, as opposed which to just adding plus do. one, which you See, can't do. You did look up what happens when I go over. Right. That means that uh, you mark a condition. And you mark like a condition. So I'll tell you what. Example. If you want to mark a condition, you absolutely can and still do the thing. Oh, absolutely. I'm gonna mark insecure. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Oh my god, you're so fucked, girl. <laughs> uh, forked. Damn it, dang it. I'm at, <laughs> snap the hair tie. I can't, I can't take back what I just said. I can't I can't retcon that. No. It was too good. And you absolutely lash out in an insecure way because you're like, she's a baby and she's stupid and her hair smells like, shut up. But <laughs> if you did hurt his feelings, we'll discard, oh, yeah. discard at the end of a scene if you hurt somebody. Discard yeah, what? You get rid of, of one of your anger. Anger. Yeah. But I, it's at the end, at of, the the end scene. of the scene. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that all depends on whether or not your feelings are hurt. Totally are. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't think anybody knew. Oh, and that is also devastating if it's true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> like I wonder. Sad face. How do, do you do you have like a one on one conversation with the cape? Like, are you? What are you trying to, bro? Like, are you, are you, <laughs> Keep it cool, man. Keep it cool. <laughs> one on one with the cape. <laughs> Welcome to superheroes, everybody. <laughs> Meanwhile, the punching. So, uh, so that means that because you succeeded at uh, directly engaging a threat, you're going to do uh, some. Con you're going to do, uh, do some conditional damage to Arc Knife, uh, but you're also going to take. Well, so you choose. You either resist or avoid their blows. Uh, take something from them. Create an opportunity for your allies. Impress, surprise, or frighten the opposition. Hmm. Does he have something that I can take? Uh, he's got these knives. Oh, can I take his knives? You absolutely can take his knives. Although theoretically, if you take his damage, you're going to take another condition, right? Yes. I, I oh, you could avoid. Oh, how do I avoid? That's one of your options, is that you could avoid his blows. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll avoid it, because I don't want to take another condition. <laughs> okay. It's three out of five. I mean, Helix is a mess. <laughs> like this, like this is Helix. All of those conditions are emotions, and that's her weak point. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah. So, do the knives hit you, and you just don't give a fuck, or well, do you I've, swat them out of the air? We said that or, I have stone skin, right? Okay. So yeah. So, so <laughs> you come charging uh, uh, back, and you're just wailing on him as you're yelling at 
uh, at at Figment and like you're a baby and, yeah, and if you let yeah and she's and a like, baby and if you like her you're a baby <laughs> you and you like look down um at your at your at your body and you see like four knives stuck in you that you're like oh that's where those are okay that's great um just flex um, you know <laughs> which is going to make him hopeless because he's like oh whoa, whoa Fuck. what do i do um because you you smash him and and he goes flying across the stage, um, and he stands back up, uh, and has a a mic with a mic cord in his hand and starts whirling it like and and he starts whipping it around like uh the scene in Kill Bill where Gogo has her like her chain yeah. ball. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's like, um, so I guess, I guess we're, this is going down now, huh? You, uh, you ran out on the cage brigade before we got to fight. Oh yeah, it looks like I already disarmed you with your fucking knives, so, and I think I put them in front of my fingers and I just go, shing! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I feel like you're provoking him. Is that, is that what you're doing? A dopey. Yeah, all right. So go ahead and make that roll. Fair to say. I'm going to change these dice because oh. you failed me for the last <laughs> time. So what are you doing? Well, I want to assess the situation. <laughs> okay. Okay. Those are mine. Don't taint them. <laughs> you said taint. Uh, and use my criminal mind on that. Okay, what does your criminal mind do? Uh, it just gives me some um, other questions. You become Mandy Patinkin for like <laughs> a half of a season, and then yeah. <laughs> Basically, even on a miss, I can ask one of these questions. Okay. Cool. Let's see, Evan. That's superior. Yep. Eight nine. All Eight. right. So that means that you get to ask one of those questions. The questions are, are are what here can I use to blank? What hero is the biggest or what here is the biggest threat? What here is the greatest danger? Who here is the most vulnerable to me? How could we best end this quickly? Uh who here is most vulnerable to me? <laughs> Helix. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Helix. Like like she is completely focused on uh beating this guy up and you think that you could probably teleport the both of you back to the aviary before things get too rough if if you have to because like once she's like you really don't know what she's going to do to this guy I'll probably for, kill him yeah like there's, there's a party the that wonders like is she, oh they when he talks about the cage brigade you're like oh oh they're they're not just going to fight until one guy gets sleepy like those things that goes to the from what you've heard that stuff goes to the death so my illusions michael <laughs> I'm, um, I'm gonna do that a lot yeah uh Wait, can well, i get that reference it's a rest of development because yeah. everyone's like you just you're a magician you just do tricks illusions michael <laughs> i haven't, I so haven't seen a rest of you should oh, oh, so oh, um, I I? now it's gonna be fishing <laughs> yeah so. uh basically can I have them stop doing the whatever they're doing feet. and being like, just? How are you we going just to be how, friends? How are you going to elude that? That's what I was trying to figure out because wouldn't be put sparkle, sparkle smiles on their faces, then it's just all better. How right? many illusions can he upkeep at once? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> basically, Infinite, the ones that are going right now, I basically want to make them disappear. And then a thing being like, at concert, need help, if I could. Oh, God. <laughs> like, they're like, help us, please. We are at a concert. <laughs> Everything is it. fine, though. And we're like, what? What? I knew what? it. I knew it. Uh, I knew that. Well, if, if, you, if you want to, 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 to control your illusions like that, I'm going to say you can just do that. Like, you don't okay. have to roll for it. Like, if you wanted to, to whammy up some illusions... Uh, to use on arc knife and a uh, helix that I might have you roll for, but if you just want to basically drop it, and <laughs> so. welcome to the grand illusion. So, 
what I th- so cut back to uh, the aviary uh, mm-hmm. where uh, you you you've gone past the training and now you're in like uh, like a class like a classroom setting where. Um, uh, a white owl is lecturing on like you know all right uh now this type of knife is a kukri and uh it's best used for this thing and all of a sudden helix and um figment stand up and are like we are at uh, uh we are at the uh, the grave club and in a fight please help us and then they just disappear <laughs> i don't think i've ever seen helix ask for help before figment <laughs> <laughs> And, and, I'll, and I'll stop. You can kind of see her go like, well. Suit up. You, you heard them. Let's go. Come on. Am I still rolling? Uh, to what? Mess them up? You just said the X-Men. Yeah, because we had talked about how I was provoking. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and provoke them. Okay. So I rolled danger instead of superior because that's one of my bull powers. Mmm. And this time, Ooh. motherfuckers, that is an eleven. Yeah. All right. So. <laughs> Those are mine. Um, what did you want him to do? So, what did you want him to do? Just straight up come at you, come at you, bro. Um. Yeah. I, well, I wanted to provoke him to try and hit me, even though his he just saw the knives not affect me. So he knows he can't physically punch me and hurt me. Okay. But I want him to try anyway. So. He's so, only gonna break his fist. You get to Bear choose. Fist. Uh. Either he stumbles and you take plus one forward against him, uh, he errs and you gain a critical opportunity, or he overreacts and you gain influence over him. Which of those do you want? Hmm. I want a critical opportunity. Okay. So, um, how do you take this guy out? Because he, because he, he uh, arcs his 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 energy into his fists and his and. Is like, all right, fine. You want to do it this way? Let's do it this way. And I and I think he kind of leaps at you, um, like Raiden style, and he's just like got the flying fist coming, uh, two fists coming at you. How do you take him out? So I have these magical dragon tattoos. Oh yeah. Right? So I think what happens is they kind of leap off my arms, wrap themselves around his fist, and then wrap themselves around his neck, and I pull at it. So he is suspended in the air with a dragon noose. Okay. Oh, shit. So you, like, sidestep, and he basically flies past you. The noose pulls tight, and and he drops uh, to the ground. He drops to the floor, and this thing is, like, strangling him. Yeah, and I think think I'm just like, who's better now? Huh? Who would have beat you in the cage fight now? You know I'm not afraid. You know I will take anybody. Do not fuck with me. Okay. Yeah. Somebody needs to stop me or I'm going to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, we're currently in transit. Yeah, we're like, <laughs> they're coming. <laughs> we're so fighting over hard. how we're getting there. So, <laughs> so, so she... Who wants um, to hop on the back of the, on the her, sparrow cycle? So she hurt you. Run, how do you go. manifest that? <laughs> Do you, are, do you just split? I yeah, I kind of don't want to get involved. Yeah, you just split. Bishop, are you serious? Bishop, <laughs> you Shit, leave son. me. Oh my god. But that means you get your angry uh rid. You get rid of your angry. You look like you had oh. it under control, ish. Oh. <laughs> Shit, son. <laughs> you just leave me. You did hurt his feelings. You did. You did. I did hurt his feelings, but I'm going to kill him. Like dude. twice now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chatter say, Helix, you deserve better, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, chat. <laughs> you know, you a queen, chat. <laughs> yeah, she's about to kill somebody. <laughs> like, know, come on. That is a problem. Yeah, that's that's a problem. Problem. I'm currently facing that. Um, can we myself. assume that maybe we're arriving at this point? Um. Yeah, please arrive. <laughs> yes. Can I like ride the sparrow cycle up onto the stage? No, because when you arrive, so you're uh, you look to, to to see Figment and he's gone, and you also see everybody else in the um, grave in in the grave, panicking and rushing out, because when the three of you arrive. 
Oh, the fucking app. No. Oh. It's worse. Oh. Because it's not just the cops there. Aegis is there, too. Oh, mm. fuck. Aegis is the um, superhero, or the agency that is uh, devoted to containing uh, superhero battles. Bro, why you did um, Look like you uh, did it. You did it. And... I will never admit it. <laughs> Helix will never admit it. Uh, and they've got the building surrounded. Um, and I think that there is uh, the the uh, a, a special agent coordinator. Um, no, wait. Well, uh, Private p- petty officer. Petty officer. Lockman. 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 Yeah. Who escaped. Um, <laughs> is this possibly someone that we're familiar with already? Uh, you tell me. I would like to say yes. Okay. So. Um, I think we roll up and, like, I squeal the sparrow cycle in, like, in front of him, put up the kickstand, walk up. P.O. Lockman, you gotta let us in there. I'm sorry? You gotta let us in there. Pissed off Lockman. <laughs> um, because cause he's there, he's uh, probably uh, the, one of their tactical coordinators, and he's like, I don't have to. I don't have to do anything for you, uh, little sparrow. Lockman. It's Hawkwing. Lockman, please let us in there. One of our people's in there fighting, and we need to put this down now. Um, I would like to provoke him to distract him to let the two of them in. Okay. Ooh. Um. That's fair. So, what are you doing? What are you uh doing to to distract um, him? Yep, I'm being a distraction. Uh, <laughs> I'm Hello, gonna... my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my I girl. have illegal fireworks. I am. Um... <laughs> I'm going to drink this beer. Actually, that Look, would be hysterical. I brought weed. <laughs> That's a dandelion. It's a weed, though. It <laughs> is technically um, a weed. No, it's the bottom of oregano. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Um, yeah, I think maybe I'm gonna try to, like, act like I'm starting a fight, I guess. With him? Yeah, because it's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> Alright. Provoke him. Roll plus thing. superior. Uh, oh, by the no. way, uh, Petty Officer Lockman's name comes from Lockman Prime, who was our uh, 100th, uh, 100th follower, and he's saying, he's just doing his job. <laughs> like, yeah. He has bills to pay, you know. You should have just let me in. You're not wrong. He is just doing his job. <laughs> Eleven, Ooh. wowza! All right, <laughs> you somehow intimidate him. I'm so. I think excited. I'm just kind of like wrestling <gasps> him, <laughs> like you know, like just some joint lock blow stuff. Like, some, so you're dance fighting. Some some pop and <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm yeah. trying to do. Um, I nudge you and just. Go, I'm just trying to just do some joint lock stuff, <laughs> <laughs> really to distract him. I don't think I'm trying to hurt him. I'm just trying to be like, look the fuck at me. Get in there! I already nudged we, we him. Like, I <laughs> so, I, I, I know you. I know you had a hit, but I, I'm. I almost want to do a thing where you're doing a, you're doing your dance fighting, and White Owl just shows up and is like, yeah. "Officer, oh. let them in." Oh. Like, but, but I don't necessarily want to like take your your. I'm fine with you? it. I okay. can do like a fun shoulder roll. I, to them. <laughs> I got them in before the owl shows up, uh, right? As far as they're concerned, uh, I did the distraction. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it that one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sure. Let's and then go the owl shows up. I have a up. feeling that. Eric and then has I think just to like that. just to put the little cherry on top, I do like a super fancy backflip over like ages and be like, I could have got in anyways. Okay. I, I, let, let's let's set it up like this. I think yeah. what, you, like <laughs> you you still pull it off, yeah. but I think White Owl is probably gonna afterwards be like. Okay, look. Um, here's how you deal with ages. Right, you little, little shit. Or Aegis. We're gonna call it Aegis because it's Wisconsin. So, Agus. The two of Agus. you make your way inside the club, and you see Helix with uh, and one of her mystic tattoos choking out this the uh, arc knife. What do you do? Take her down. How do you take her down? Um. Right away, we know that the bull is pretty tough. So Helix, Helix is obviously out of control, and she's on a stage, right? Mm-hmm. Well, you're I gonna guess, hit her, aren't you? I guess it's gonna 
It's going to be pretty nice. Uh, All right. So directly stuff. engage that threat with danger. Here we go. Since I'm... Go. Are you doing anything to stop this, uh, Horizon? Nope. You should just okay. duck out. Well, I was wondering... That's a good if, move. <laughs> are there people currently in danger? N no, there's nobody in danger in the club. Okay. But, but they've got the place surrounded. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, but you like either of these two. Or these. I need all the options oh my in order to fully feel yeah, like I, I tried. <laughs> that was a bad dice anyways. We're just no, it do wasn't. <laughs> Wait, do you have influence over? I do. I have influence over you. But I have influence over you too. So? <laughs> Everybody has influence over me. I'm very influenceable. Yeah. You are. I rest my You're like influenza. My so you, well, that wow. just means, so you can, so here are a couple things you can do with that influence. One, uh, when you have influence over them, you take plus one to all moves targeting them. It's it it is all on the, the back of the card. Yes. Um, when you take advantage of your influence over them, you surrender uh, the influence you hold over them to choose one. Ooh. You give them minus two on a move they just made, you inflict a condition on them, or you take an additional uh, move targeting them. Okay. Um... You do not have influence over them. I think I do. One, two, three, four. Do you one, have a two, purple four. card? No. Then you don't? Yeah. She one purple. of us yourself. Yeah, one yes. of us is you. One of them is me. You're I... orange. Oh. So I have influence over you her. Do. Miss, I got influence on everyone. I thought I did. <laughs> I don't know where that noise came from. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel so disappointed yes, right now. Yes, I, I, I even noted that you are orange, so you don't bum, have it. But you've got bum, influence bum, of dirt. Bum, so. Bum, bum. <laughs> do, 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 do. There's a camera all in my head. Yeah. So when you take it, so you can surrender that influence um, to either give them a, a minus two on a move that they make, mm -hmm. inflict a condition on them, or take an pl additional plus one on a move targeting them. But that means that you give up the card. Or... Um, you so or you can basically shift her labels by like talking to her, and that uh, so you could shift down her uh, her danger, which is what she's going to use on you to directly engage that threat. Hmm. Making faces at Jordan, she's ignoring. I think me. I want to. I want to. I'm very concerned right now. <laughs> So yeah, it's, they, all, it's all in the back there, too. Yeah. They all. take a minus two on a move they just made. So you could save, so you could save it for that. Yeah. After she hit, but she's going to try to hit you. Wow. Um, or, because how many, what, are you, there, you only have one unchecked condition, right? Two. No, no, I got rid of angry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, because he. This motherfucker. Right. <laughs> right here. Uh, so now I just have two. Why am I scratching your back? You don't have to deserve to have your back scratched right now. Do you, how many conditions do you have? <laughs> Zero. Oh, no. one. oh, she's angry. I'm angry right now. Mm. Mm. Ooh, I could inflict afraid. Ooh. <laughs> Me, fear? Oh, she, see, she sees it in your eyes because you never had to throw down with her. I am I flicked have... afraid. Oh. So I will take. Yeah. So you keep that. You keep that. Okay. All right. All right. Because that's right. gonna. Because that now that automatically gives her a minus two to engage the threat anyway. Ooh. I didn't know I was gonna do that. <laughs> but Ooh. I, okay. Here we go. Yeah. So you're like, I'll just run in there and charge her, and. Oh, and here's here's what he likes her to. <laughs> he left. Her too. Oh man. Can right. I come flipping onto the stage and <laughs> try to comfort her? Okay. Like calm her down. I know. I know you want to do everything. I do. But I want to see how this plays out. It's gonna be ends badly. So I am wrecked. I'm yeah. Doing negative two. On your uh, on your danger move. Yeah. <clears throat> now remember, you can selfishly spend, selfishly team. spend a team. I... And hurt some hurt somebody else to shift your danger back up so you're only at a minus one. Birch, selfish, selfish birch. This is so awesome, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
hurt somebody else, you could just punch me in the face, and then. Or does he hurt me? Right? <laughs> what the hell? Mm. Yeah, that 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 could be. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take. I'm gonna use that team and tell Helix. How long have we been together, and you're already losing control? You have no idea what I have been through. You have no idea who I am. Don't you dare try and tell me who I am. What I know is that right now you're hurting somebody. Too hard. Let it go. He deserved it. And then I take the hits. Hey. So I oh, she shifted <laughs> danger I up see. one. <laughs> what did you do? And mundane down one. Okay. Oh. Oh, so she rolled a, f you rolled a five. five. What is your uh, danger at? My danger is at plus one. So that's so a six, six minus six. two plus one. is a four. So you missed. Bad. Ooh. This is bad. No, this is really bad. <laughs> we'll go ahead and mark that potential. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, en enjoy your tiny, tiny sliver. I'm of sure. I'm sure he. I'm sure he. Well, I'm probably going to. Should, <laughs> should, yeah. Well, I mean, right I'm going now. to now. I was waiting for her to handle Do it. Do it then. now. I jump in because Shatani's micromanaging. <laughs> Glossy boots. No, you don't. You don't, you don't jump have in. To. I don't. No. Okay. Because. Um, we'll see what happens next time oh, on he's doing one of those peeps <laughs> masks future shock we'll oh. be back after this final break to do uh, our end of a session move <laughs> but if you want to see what happens between Arate we'll come back <laughs> yeah. come back to us in two weeks and uh, we'll uh, pick up the narrative there but come back to us in ten minutes and we will uh, do some end of uh, session moves because I am a terrible person. <laughs> I'm gonna end this the way I've ended like five episodes. Rawr! <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you back in 10 minutes for our end of session moves right here on Masks Future Shock. Uh, welcome back everybody. So we have had a <laughs> fantastic discussion of what we want to do yes. uh, in two weeks. Some when we would call it an argument. <laughs> <laughs> Fair to say. Yeah. I wouldn't call it an argument. Um, okay, Helix. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we're very excited uh, to see uh, what happens uh, uh, next time when uh, Arate unleashes her powerful blow on her teammate Helix. Um, so please tune in in two weeks at 6.30 Central um, to see how that plays out. But, same bat time, same bat channel. Um, also, <laughs> if you missed part of this stream, you uh, will be able to find it on YouTube and uh, your favorite podcast dispensary. Because um, <laughs> I hate saying like SoundCloud Stitcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, um, we're shooting for 5 a.m. next Wednesday? Yep, um, one week from today. So if you missed stuff or you, or you want other people to listen to us or, or watch us, which we want you to want to do, um, you can find us there. Uh, please share those videos uh, with your with your friends. Uh, if you enjoyed our show tonight, please uh, like, uh, share, and rate, uh, either as a podcast, uh, either uh, on our um, Twitch page or on our uh, YouTube. YouTube page. Why not? Um, all three, yeah. Because yeah, why not all three? And and Make a night of it Get because pizza bagels or whatever she said. Doctor Pepper, pizza pepperoni. pepperoni. I know Doctor Pizza pepperoni. puffs. Get, um, get those. Eat them. But with your uh, because Walker. the more people we, we watch, uh, the 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 more fun we have in chat because we love interacting with with people. You guys are so great. Uh, it's so funny. I, I I totally want to make Doctor uh, Pepperoni T shirts to uh, to wear. Um, <laughs> with the slogan on the back. <laughs> he's got, I, like, I imagine he's got, like, the, the mad scientist goggles, but they're yeah. actually pepperonis. Yes. So, yes. Yes. Um, uh, please share please share this also show. Go check out our uh, um, our previous shows, too. But before we, we really close out, we uh, Masks has an end-of-session move that allows people to kind of get a feel for uh, what did we learn here today. So... Um, at the end of every session, everybody has to choose one of these, and we're going to go around the table and basically talk about why they made these cho uh, choices. Uh, they can either choose to have grown closer uh, to the team, 
to grow into uh, their own image of themselves or uh, to grow away from the team. Now, if you choose to grow closer to the team, you explain who made you feel welcome, you give influence to that character, and clear a condition or mark potential. If you grow into your own image of yourself, you explain how you see yourself and why, and you shift one label up and one label down. If you have grown away from the team, you explain why you feel detached, and you take influence over you <laughs> away from another character. I think a couple people look like they're ready to, to choose. <laughs> so whoever wants to jump in first. Uh, <laughs> <All right. laughs> Poignant look. Okay. No, no, no. It, it, was, it looked like you two were both like, we, we, we got this choice. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I grew away from the team. All right. Why do you feel detached? Um, Because... The person who I had feelings for dipped the fuck out when I was about to kill a dude. <laughs> <laughs> and then my other teammate... We've, we've all had that. Uh, yeah, that those, right? Have when we were dating in high school. Oh, I mean, sophomore year. Oh, my God. Oh, Tinder dates are just the worst. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and also, uh, Arite is about to unleash a powerful blow on me. Like in the face, yeah, in my face. So I am a wreck, and your influence over me goes bye bye. Take influence over you away from mm -hmm. another character. Fuck bye. You. Fuck what you've done, girl. <laughs> bye. Your fantasies will never be quenched. <laughs> <laughs> you freaking pricks. Um, I think I've probably bye. grown yeah. closer to the team. Um. I don't know that Figment made me feel more welcome, but his cape did. Oh, interesting. Oh, like, because okay. if the cape likes you, then maybe, yeah. you know. Maybe he fair. likes me. Mm. <laughs> so you're going to give uh, some influence to Figment then? Do you already have like... influence? No, no one no. does but Jordan. Fuck. Are you going to get freaky with a cape? Fuck. <laughs> I mean, listen, if Benedict um, Cumberbatch can. And then I don't have any conditions to clear, so I will mark potential. Okay. I think I grew into my own image of myself. <laughs> by noping the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, fork, exactly. By noping the fork out. <laughs> like, not that it's the image I want to be, but I feel as if I can't handle situations. So by not handling them, it kind of reinforces that. All right, so which of your labels are you shifting? Uh... Probably. Uh, Where's the asshole label? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think you are looking for. Would uh, that be superior, superior and savior? <laughs> well, I was honestly thinking that uh, danger would be a good one to shift down because that's kind of how you help yeah. handle your yeah. handle your stuff, and maybe freak. Oh yeah, because I was that. you're like I that. you're like you know I can't. I'm no good w with this superhero crap. I'm just a weirdo who can teleport. And I did it really well, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys? Uh, I Very think hard. that I uh, grew into my own self. Okay. Because I didn't really have any special real interactions with anybody, but I did uh, confront a potential threat. You did? So um, I think... Um, you did. I think I would shift my superior up and my danger down. Does that make sense? Sure. This is very difficult. Um, I feel like Arite probably grew closer to her own image, too, with her aunt's help. Okay. Um, sort of looking at the bigger picture and everything that their legacy is supposed to be and protect. And really internalize that, which is why she gained influence over me. Plus, you know, delicious pizza. Mm -hmm. um, and I think probably... She would end up shifting danger down and maybe savior up. 
Why would you? Why would you make those choices? Mm, she's evening herself out a little bit, so she's not. Or I mean, technically, I could probably move mundane up because she's becoming more of like a level-headed person. I'm trying to mm. sort of figure out because it's it's hard to choose what mm -hmm. she would shift because of her conversation with her aunt. Um, well, I, I do find it interesting that that's the thing that is is what you're focusing on, not the time that you tried to punch you know, uh, through, through, uh, through time and space. But, well, <laughs> that's sort of unresolved at the moment. That's so right. that's <laughs> I'm trying to balance it. Because <laughs> I might argue also to consider that you grew away from the team a little bit here. Yeah. Because you were the one who's kind of running in and Leroy Jenkins and everything. <laughs> and like, I'm the leader! And, you know, and none of it really worked out. They nope. did really good against Dr. Infinity. Did you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but if... Yeah, that, that does make sense, too. And, pl and I feel like you want to take away uh, influence from, from somebody. Or, I mean, if, if you have a better idea of how to explain you, uh, how you grew into your own image, where you think that you're being a leader, that's fine. <laughs> but I, I'm just giving you my opinion of what I saw. No, that makes a lot of sense. Um, okay. I That is fair. That is a very big scene at the end <laughs> that I was not giving due notice to a little bit. Sort of, kind of. Um, so, so, whose influence are you, uh, or are you, are you getting rid of? I mean, mine's already gone, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling, I would say the detachment is just due to <laughs> constant fighting and having to prove herself. And she didn't really she notice that Figment isn't it. there yet. So, I'm just going to. Take that away from Tommy. <laughs> I knew that was coming for like a while. So, I tried so wait, that to why, be so So why obvious. did you take influence away from um, from Sparrow? So for Sparrow, the detachment and like the argument that she has to keep proving herself over and over and over again and prove that she's good enough to lead the team and she feels like everything's well, supposed I, to I, I also, I also, her. I also wonder if it's just... I'm never going to say this out loud, but maybe she's right. Like, at least for now. At least but you're until... saying it out loud, though. But no, <laughs> but Arate would never say it out loud. I know. Like, yeah. and there is kind of a, especially if we, the stuff that we talk about that we'll mm -hmm. get to next week happens, yeah. I feel like, I feel like you're making the right choice. Yeah. For, so. for what's going on right now and what's probably going to go on in a couple weeks, that makes sense. All right. So. <laughs> Don't Once again, we would like to thank you all for coming out and watching us on Twitch. Um, if you missed anything, you uh, can watch the video clip uh, that we're uh, that we've got, and also uh, check out our podcast if you uh, want to uh, drive to work and, and re-listen to it. Uh, or you can also uh, watch our YouTube videos, which are going to be uploading um, right uh, in between. Uh, weeks. Our next live broadcast is in two weeks. Uh, that is January 30th? 30th. Mm, yes. 16th, uh, it should 30th. be on the Facebook event. Yeah. January 30th. Yeah, yeah. Uh, January 30th, 6.30 p.m. Uh, Central Time. Uh, the same OWL uh, channel, the same OWL uh, station. Um, also, uh, like our uh, Facebook page. Uh, go uh, hit up our Instagram uh, like our Twitter, the more socials we get and the more the the, the more word we get out about this show, uh, the more fun it's going to be for everybody. Mm -hmm. Write um, a review for our podcast even if you don't listen. <laughs> God. Well, don't do listen. <laughs> listen, <laughs> please. Instead. Listen to the podcast, but then, technically they have if they're yeah, here. Yeah, that's so, exactly. like, the they're not just content. wandering off the street yeah. being like, hello, I'm a human, please. You it, know. It's, <laughs> it's this without video. Yeah. Which might be better. I don't know. And remember, um, the moral of the lessons today is if your friend is going to kill somebody, run the fuck away. <laughs> you don't want to be a witness to that. And <laughs> with that, for Tony Cheek, Jordan Fishburne, 
Ethan Eichstead Anderson, Tony Thompson, and Danielle Bryn. This is Rob Whelan saying thanks for watching Theater of the Mind Players and repeat to yourself, it's just a game. I should really just relax.